We are live. Hello. Yep, working. Good morning, geeks. What is going on? Uh, Unite the Clans, back in your life with a little Saturday morning arc. Uh, I am uh, going to be playing this morning on the Patreon servers, on the um, Vanilla Cluster, which is where uh, most of the videos you have seen from the Patreon server have happened. And today I'm on Ragnarok. A while back, you'll recognize the picture. We started a little base near there, and it's kind of a mess. I think... Um, I think I basically just need to get myself a nice little small base where I can kind of narrow down to the few creatures that I need to keep around and keep a kind of a small, simple uh, setup going on on uh, this server. Um, let me talk about a few of the things I'd like to talk about off the top of the stream. Uh, number one, thank you to uh, G Portal. They're a sponsor for us. And uh, <laughs> morning, guys. They're a sponsor for us. They sponsor these servers. And if you guys see Brad, uh, a.k.a. Wolf, uh, pop into chat during the stream today. Give him some love. He works pretty hard for us, especially with the Pixar server. Um, as for Pixar, guys, I had a bunch of fun with it the last little while. I think uh, you will see more actual arc coming up over the next little while. Um, before I actually kick off, I'm going to start with a little blah, blah, blah. This morning is going to be kind of a, a slow-paced, laid-back stream. I'm going to hopefully build up myself a little, you know, simple base on this server. And I have some fun stuff planned for the very near future. So, um, uh, the channel, uh, for, <clears throat> I have, I have been, another thank you is to my Patreon supporters. I always like to do off the top. I uh, thank you to the geeks. They're the people you'll see playing on this server. And there's a lot more of them that just support me and don't really ask for much in return. Uh, and there's, I don't know, 206, 200 and something odd people. Um, and so for most of you guys, you came here for one thing, and that's ARC. And uh, a couple of different things, but a lot of you came for building an ARC, for exploring an ARC. Uh, so I have a plan. Uh, starting, uh, well, n around this time next week, um, I'm going to be getting into some new series. Not new series, bringing back some series that you guys love and appreciate and uh that you have uh, been a fan of in the past and good we got the view count up on the screen I'm, i'll keep this i'll make this a longer intro just before i dive into anything because i have a bunch of stuff to blab about um starting on monday there will be a different game on the channel it's going to be five episodes uh, it's a story driven game uh and that'll start on monday i would love if you guys would check that out when it pops up and then for next week it's going to be a mini little vacay from arc you guys won't see as much arc on the channel but i will be playing and i'll be working on those new series i have been talking about um so thank you to my patrons thank you to the mods i see a few of you guys in chat already gamma and baby girl was handling some some chaos this morning um and <laughs> and i shall likely not address the chaos this morning so anyway thank you shout out to who else is here in chat I see a rally, and I have a bunch of other great um, uh, moderators. There's some other people. Most of the, a lot of the folks in chat that you see there are also Patreon supporters. So you guys are amazing. Um, I have since August been, I say live in my dream, but I've been getting to focus full time on the channel, and it's beautiful. The only thing is, channel's not growing like crazy. It's the beautiful thing about YouTube is it's still growing. A lot of my old building tutorials, which I see people mentioning. Um, are the thing that still drives a bunch of people to the channel and every month there's over a thousand new subscribers and life is life is beautiful but um, one thing I think I have lacked over the last little while is some consistency so um, this isn't exactly a good example because for the next week we're gonna have a different game up on the channel and tomorrow I have a bit of a surprise stream in the works that will also not be arc so from Sunday tomorrow till next Saturday you won't see much arc but then after that I'm gonna dive in and really gonna get going with some good stuff uh, I have some I have some really fun stuff in the works been talking with the geeks I uh, have some ideas for our creative building server and that's gonna be a big focus coming up which is why I'm, I'm focusing on getting a small simple base going on on the server yesterday I had people helping me disassemble my uh, island base on Ragnarok and I passed on the deed to Rogue Galaxy, who I think I saw in chat this morning. Um, Rogue is going to be taking over that island with the docks where I briefly worked on building a fort with Agrimor and a few others. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> basically be simplifying my, my presence on the, on the, you know what, we should probably get into the game, don't you think? I can blab while I, while I do this. Let's go ahead and get uh, this off the screen. And okay, so here is, here is the spot. Um, but yes, um, 
uh, got, got some fun plans in the works. So all I'll ask you guys is when you see the new game uh, next week, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's part one of, of like five parts of this game, sort of Telltale game style, where they're going to be releasing um, parts of the story over the next little while. I had such a good time that I had to introduce it. Uh, now that said, after that, I'm really going to focus on being consistent with you guys. And number one, that's going to mean this um, Saturday mornings, I'm going to make a real focus. And I think we will likely maybe... Uh, I always do this this time of year, but I will probably stop doing Sunday streams as often. And I've missed streams here and there, which I hate doing. Uh, and I think my plan will be to really focus in on uh, giving you guys um, the Saturdays, making it a real routine, and we got some plans for that. Um, this server, the Ragnarok server, has been up and running for as long as we've had a server going, and it's been as active as we've had a server. Uh, there are some amazing bases, I have realized, having toured around a little bit. If you guys saw Webby's place, um, and I was over at Jayla's the other day uh, getting leveled up. I'm now level 99, almost there. Um, and so we're going to focus uh, for the Saturday streams on doing some base tours, which is really uh, going to be fun. And then during the week, I am going to get the Building Evolved creative series going. we got some plans to do some exploration videos uh, to, share, uh, to share more of Ragnarok with you guys. So there's going to be some good stuff coming, but... Uh, for the next few days ahead, you will not be seeing that. You will be seeing this new game. Please give it a chance. Dive in if you enjoy it. I so enjoyed it. I promise you it's going to be coming back. Uh, it's called The Council. So um, episode one is the only part that's out now, and I made five videos on it. There's going to be an episode two and episode three, blah, blah, blah. Over the course of 2018, I'm going to play them all. That's how much I enjoyed it. So even if you don't dig that series, that's cool, but I'm going to be digging it. Um, and uh, I am right near the Desert Community Center. Um, which is this amazing place. I guess we could do a little, whoops. I guess we could do a little flyby of the community center. Um, and this is the thing I built a few weeks ago. It's kind of a mess. It's not a very good build. Um, so what I want to do today, I think I'm going to start right there where my little teleporter is and maybe build up a little platform and maybe make some dino storage. And then uh, uh, what I want to do is turn this little uh, ruined silo thing into a nice little place to live. I, by disassembling some of my other bases, I have everything I should need to get a nice little place going. I think we'll end up disassembling this hideous monstrosity, too, and building something different. <clears throat> Excuse me, building something different today. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that away. And let's do a little... Woo! Okay, perfect. And we'll do a little glide by. Um, not Scorched Earth. This is Ragnarok. Amazing Ragnarok Desert. Check that out. Now stuff's going to lag a little bit as we try and zoom in uh, we're also gonna have some community events going uh, the video you guys saw this week of webby's place was after a building contest that lizzie organized and lizzie's working on some really cool stuff including i think we're gonna end up getting some some sort of like medieval games uh medieval times style tournament games going um, so that's that's in the works. Uh, Lizzie's also working on an amazing race type thing. Uh, so when you don't see base tours on the Saturday streams, um, you will be seeing this stuff. I think these are the, what do you call it, the lists? Is that the expression? Either way, they'll, they'll be jousting, they'll be fighting, and I think there's even like a King's, King Robert Baratheon style King's booth up here where the Arali and I are going to get to sit on some thrones and watch the, ooh, perhaps Arali and I and our, our queens. I don't know who that is, but uh, we'll get that kind of a stuff going. And this is the Desert CC. I've been living, if you guys look at the thumbnails for the series, that, other than the aberration stuff, I've been living and operating out of the Ragnarok Desert for the most part for a little while. Um, and for the creative building series, we're actually headed back to the center, which is really fun. If you guys watched my series Building Evolved, it's my favorite series I have ever done. And that's the thing that we're going to kick off after uh, the run of the council is done. Um, and we're going to be going back to the world where I had built um, my Viking village, where I had built my medieval city, and um, now that used to be my private server. I played there by myself when you watch those series. Now that's going to be open to the geeks, and um, we have a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of excitement going for that. And I will say, I just, you guys have watched me do these streams now for a while. I never really get true momentum going, building and playing in survival. And it's because half the time I'm logging in, I'm zipping around to set up teleporters or to t help people out with admin type stuff. Um, for me, the times that I'm most addicted to building an arc, the times that I am most uh, passionate about it is uh, when I've had that series going, when I'm building using creative mode and I have no uh, limitations to the things I can build and create. I basically just take my imagination and 
slap it in the world for you guys and share it. Um, so we're going to be going back to some old places. We're going to be uh, doing the weekend streams and touring around the best bases around here. Occasionally we'll get some events going. Anyway, lots of fun stuff for the future. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind me doing this long sort of blabby intro. Um, but the bottom line is the people who are on here put in some incredible amount of time building and creating the things that they build and create here. I mean, take a look at what's here. I don't even... The, I don't even know how you do that. How do you get these angled pillars? That looks amazing. That's the dynamic ones. I didn't know you could angle them like that. That's wild. I've been up here before, but I hadn't looked at that. We should probably attempt that for the entrance to our place today, right? Because um, I'm in a small version of this dome, right? I mean, this is a mega version of the dome that I have. Um, so anyway, the, the people who are here put in a crazy amount of time. And for me to ever make anything on this place look good... Um, I would need a lot more time. So instead, I'm going to kind of focus on playing the game the way that suits me the most and still getting to do it with the patrons by doing it on the, the Building Evolve server. So let's do a little zip through the community center and then we'll work our way back out to my island. I'll work on making a little dino storage thing. Um, and I invited um, geeks, uh, if you're on the server, if you're in chat, if you're going to stop by and, and visit me uh, uh, today, you can hop in that voice chat that I'm in, which is the UTC weekend stream one. And um, yeah. Uh, you can be my queen, Arali says. Um, and uh, I gotta say, guys, one one thing that I've gotten a bunch of messages about lately, I've I've been in Discord, and I think on the channel in 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 points, I've been pretty honest about when I have struggled with um, creating content, and I have um, mentioned to the you know these these guys get to know me pretty well, the folks who are on the server, um, and so they occasionally will see me disappear for little stretches of time, and I'm usually honest when I come back from that and tell them about, oh, I've been depressed, and I've been going through this, ABC, and I've actually gotten a lot of messages from people this week saying that they really appreciate me being honest about that stuff, that, um, that the finish line that I was working towards, if you get to make videos, and that's your whole job, that it's not, uh, it's not just I get here and life is perfect and I'm happy. I keep running into the same issues where I'm occasionally struggling or, or unhappy or whatever. Anyway, I've gotten a few messages back. Oh my god, guys, look at these mutations. <laughs> Who dropped off these dingoes? Look at that one. Wild. They're not dingoes. What are they called? What's my brain failing me? Hyenas. Look at the color schemes on that. There's crazy builders. I'm going to take you guys up to the roof and show that off too. Literally everything here is up for adoption. So if you were to come join us, you can have some insane looking creatures on your first day. Check these out. Uh, colors on some of these. Up for adoption. Whoops. Where are we? Lag. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy stuff. Uh, it's helped me uh, out being able to speak with you about that stuff, Arali says. Yeah, it's it's true. I don't think you ever get over it. I think uh, it would be easy for you guys watching to look at your favorite YouTubers and go, oh, they just, they're happy all the time and they just get to play video games all the time. Their life must be perfect. Eh, it's, nobody's life is perfect. It's a constant ongoing struggle to, to be happier, to live a, the life that, that makes you the happiest. And I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, and most of the time, for me, the the... The, me getting depressed has come from weird things where I'm, I'm kind of placing my my um, I don't know. This is me being honest again, but this is placing my self worth in weird things. A rally and I have talked about it where you get really proud of yourself, going, "I make a video every day. I'm I'm great." But then when you struggle and you you know you don't keep up with your own schedule, then you start crapping on yourself and thinking you suck. Um, so anyway, the the whole point is, uh, well, I don't know what the whole point is, but oh, hey Ned. Um, if you get to, hey Dunk, if you get if you get to do something like I'm doing, if you get to, uh, well, I mean, it started with take your free time and start dedicating it to something, and eventually it'll turn into something. And even though I mentioned channel's been growing more slowly, maybe there's not as many people watching as there were at times. Maybe it's because I'm a, whatever it is, it's all trending in the right direction. Um, we're up to 200 something patrons, which is insane. Um, and the folks on this server, there's some people who have been here now for well over a year, have no signs of going to play their arc anywhere else, which means we're doing something right. Um, so you guys can see what I'm up against. I think um, my goal when I started building was was people were living in boxes. <laughs> and Pug, I see you there. I, I can't address, there's a lot of people in chat, buddy. Um, uh, so 
what, what was I saying? God dang distracted fool. Um, yeah, when I started building an ark, people were just living in boxes. And so my mission was teach you how to live in something that's not a box. Clearly my work is done because uh, if you've seen me wandering around this place for the last little while, not only have the people who play ARK learned how to build, the people who watch me and who have joined this community, they're better builders than me now. Like, like I don't build things that look as good as they look. Um, and yeah, I still have a place. I'm sure I can still teach them a few tips and tricks. But if you leave me to build in survival, guys, I never come up with anything as amazing as this. These guys just, whether it's time or dedication or they i can't grind i i get hurt out whatever it is these guys are amazing they don't necessarily need me to teach them anymore like look look just look at it everything painted everything beautifully decorated i mean uh, some of the folks i mean some of the folks who joined us uh, jendai is a good example when she joined us never played arc and has become such a uh, well i mean it, it's not like it just happened it happened like a year ago but becomes an amazing builder, learns to do things I don't know how to do, and now I get to take inspiration from these people. Um, anyway, it's a, it's it's amazing. But check, just have a, I'm, I like to wander around this place and just show it off. And this is this is a small example of what you'll be seeing over these live streams over the weeks ahead as we start diving into some base tours. Um, this server is starting to get a little laggy, and what happens? You know, when people build too long on one server, Ragnarok has definitely experienced that. We've been through a couple versions of the center when we had that server up. People just build until the server can't keep up, and we're starting to get lag on the server. And before, you know, the time comes that this server needs to be reset and people start fresh on Ragnarok again, I want to show off all the amazing things that have been built. So that's that's my plan for the streams ahead. Um, could probably have started with that today, but I do need to get myself a little base. So if you guys want to help, I mean, I'm not going to build anything that looks as good as this today. I'm just not. So if you want to come help me, help me work on my little spot over here, please do. I just need a little, a little house to live in. Nothing too fancy. And we're going to use that little dome thing as a, a starting point. So the one thing I'll say, if you guys have some ideas... We we'll kind of have a blank slate. Um, we kind of have a blank slate as to what we work with. I don't want to take on any giant ambitious projects because we're going to work on this today. And by next week, um, we'll be diving into base tours and stuff. So I may not find a ton of time to finish a project that we don't uh, that we start today. So take a look at that dome. Uh, take a look at my crappy building beside it. See if you have any ideas for what we could do. And I think what I'll do is grab some foundations to start. Um, I don't think... I think I can go ahead and pick up my teleporter for now. Um, we'll put this back in a bit. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is grab some foundations. I already got them, actually. And I'm going to um, maybe try and lay out some foundations around here and put up some some gates or something so that we've got a little dino storage. Ooh. Did you just... Oh, you... <laughs> I thought you teleported in after I removed the teleporter. That's Rogue, who's taking over my old island. Uh, the one with the docks. So what do we think? How would you start when it comes to... These guys are so good with Structures Plus. Um, wow, is there... You can't go under here, right? Oh, there's actually quite a damn lot under this place. Look at that. Did you know this was all down here, guys? I didn't. This is inaccessible, right? But look, there's a whole freaking thing under there. Ready? Interesting. I didn't know there was that under there. Um, I'm going to work on trying to lay out a, uh, a bit of a foundation here. Um, and we'll see what we can come up with. I really don't know the best way to do it. This is a really big, really big space. I've come to help. Okay, man. So, um, well, did, I don't know. Did somebody else want to take on that challenge of put a big foundation on this? Good lord. Um, I'm going to try and find the middle and we'll see. We'll just do a quick build out and see what we can do. Um, and that dome kind of reminds me of an observatory. Interesting. Um, Stewie, by the way, in chat. Also a stream sponsor. You don't have to do that if you're also a patron. All right. So this is the, this is the center back of it, right? That's the edge. So we'd want to line up with this and try and find the middle and then maybe build out with these triangles. It's hard, it's hard because most of this circle is obscured. I know I'm not going to end up having centered this, but let's just, let's just do a little, let's just try and bang this out real quick. I got a hundred each of triangles and squares. Whoops. So, oops. Oh, come on. Let's go ahead and put these on. 
five and six. I got my mouse here, guys. I pointed this out in the past. If you're a builder, get a mouse like that. All those buttons on the side. Pull out your axe. Pull out your pick. Pull out your crossbow. Pull out your sword. Triangle foundation. Square foundation. Teleporter. Whatever. Guns. All, all at the click of your thumb. So this for me was a game changer when I started going on this. I very briefly had two mouses. Mice? Two mice? Uh, no, two buttons on my mouse. And uh, and when I, uh, when I did, I was like, holy crap, I need more. I was like, I could put a slot one and slot two on my mouse. And then I was like, I need all my slots on my mouse. Um, so this is, this is a, a technique that these guys... I started all my building in vanilla. Um, vanilla was the only thing I really knew how to do. Uh, and so uh, meanwhile, while focusing on that, doing building tutorials so that folks on PS4, like Ocelot, folks on... on um, Xbox. Hey, Jake, how's it going, buddy? You still playing, um, still playing islands and doing builds? Uh, Syntac built uh, a house there. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, come on. I'm, I, I'm not, I know I'm not an amazing, uh, you know, I, when it comes to building with mods, I'm not crazy, but I mean, we could build be something better than Syntac, right? I mean, love that guy, but, 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 um, somebody asked Syntac this week on Twitter. They were like, oh, who, who do you, who's your favorite? Who's good at building? And he was like, yeah, I don't really watch that many ARC videos these days, but you better check out Unite the Clans. So Syntax got my back. Um, his his channel, by the way, guys, that's, um, that is, you know, it's a, there, there are different directions you can go when you build your channel. And I, I, there were times for me where I've tried to go, oh, maybe I can be like Syntax. And then I always end up not being able to do, do it the way he did it. Some people are cut out to do their do certain types of content and um okay that's a shape that's the beginning that looks somewhat centered i'm not doing a bad job um okay we can do this anyway um but yeah i definitely the time some of the times when you guys have seen the me disappear from the channel and or, or start things and not finish them it's been uh it's been like me going okay what if i what if i try and get as a lot of views no, I'll just do my thing. I'll just build, and, and that's been the key to me getting my views in the past, and that's that's me talking about building back, bringing back Build and Evolved. That's me at my happiest. That's me at my most satisfied playing Ark. Okay, so I think... No, this is going to be triple triangle. So one, two, three. So you can see how this changes the game. Uh, there was somebody, Jinji, in chat today, uh, in the Geeks chat, who was doing the building contest. You guys know You guys know GG Fizz, right? Fizz and um, somebody else, Fire Spark. Anyway, they've been doing these building competitions, and the results. When I first saw it, I was like, "Ah, that's right. I don't know if I would get, ever get people building." I think they had a fifty-dollar prize or something like that the first time. But their people who are entering their building contests are coming up with some amazing stuff. And Gingy was sharing a thing in the Discord today about in vanilla how to make a thirty-two-sided shape. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we were all watching. Uh, and just super impressed, going like, who knew you could make that shape? Hey, there's Jinji. Hey, you should learn to do some real circles with all vanilla. Yes, I'm, I need to watch your video. Um, and Pug, if you're getting timed out, you mentioned earlier you've been banned from 14 channels. Don't make it 15. If people are giving you timeouts, those are warnings that you are that you are being annoying. I trust my moderators to decide who who... Who, who gets timed out and who gets banned so if somebody gets gets uh, loses their patience with you bud it's gonna be ban ban time and we'll, you, we'll be channel number 15 that pug gets banned from if, if that's the goal just let us know we'll make it happen right now but if not take the time out as a fricked up warning you fool that i have been so lucky i will say with this channel guys i think like attracts like and the reason that this Patreon community is filled with so many amazing people is because Raleigh and I are doing something right. We're putting out the right vibes. We're, we're attracting people who are generally laid back and cool. This server specifically is full of a lot of adults. Um, if you saw my video with Webby the whole time, you heard his family in the background, right? Server's full of moms and dads. Baby, baby girl's a mom. <clears throat> it's a full-time job, but a lot of the people go, how am I going to spend my downtime? I'm going to come here and hang out with some some fellow like-minded adults so anyway if you're not an adult you may struggle to fit in here 
And when I started, I was playing Minecraft, I generally imagined... Generally imagined I would have a lot of kids watching my channel, but most of you guys, the biggest age group for me is 24 to 35. Oh, wow, you go through a lot of tri triangles with this nonsense. Good thing we got more. <clears throat> okay, one of these tables. And so after disassembling a lot of the places, the bases I had around, guys, we got a... a a good supply of resources and I found I realized I was like how many ascendant picks do I have uh, going on all these servers and cleaning up my bases I was like well I got ascendant picks everywhere and mash whatever journeyman it's like who knew I had this crap I can never find my stuff guys because we have this cluster so it's Ragnarok the island scorched earth and aberration and I had spots on each of them um, and none of them were good none of them were complete my base on aberration is pretty good I have yet to disassemble it, but that was in my plans. Take down my old aberration farm. Uh, what am I doing? Foundation. Let's look for the word foundation here. Wrong, wrong box. We're listening to a mix of DJ Quads, who I love, and um, Josh Woodward. So this is DJ Quads. If you hear some kind of chilled out acoustic music, that is. Uh, our boy uh, Josh Woodward um, The new series coming up guys No music added And Jinji 22 is fine <laughs> Oh you know what And if Ocelot Kitty's si almost 16 And has been hanging out I would have guessed at Ocelot Kitty What I mean I don't mean adult in terms of age I just mean adult in terms of being being Mature Where are these other foundations What did I put them in There Give me these and give me these, and we'll probably have to come make some more. I don't know how soon we're going to get to the edge of this. How did I do? How close are we to these corners? A little bit off rotation-wise, eh? But it's not going to line up anyway, because that's in the middle. So maybe, maybe we ramp down from here or something. <clears throat> I wonder if we put a little ramp around the outside in order to kind of just merge into this without going off the edge. Because the next row is going to take us off the edge over here. Going to take us off the edge over here. Yeah, maybe I'll get some stone ramps and little uh, triangle roofs going. That might be the way to go. And for those of you that offered to help, <clears throat> I, I... Good lord. <clears throat> I haven't had any coffee today and I didn't make any. This is a first. I woke up and, and, and just started making video. I, I didn't make any coffee. Interesting. I haven't played Sea of Thieves Pug, but Arali played it with Monkey Puzzle. Um, it looked pretty fun. And uh, Meister Master just turned 14. See, there you go. You've been like a total grown-up in chat the whole time you've been here. I would never have guessed. Um, but if you are the folks who are hopping by going, I wouldn't mind helping you. There is a Dodicorous. Uh, actually, these guys kind of suck. We have much better Dodies around here. Anyway, I have a Dodicorous, I have an Ankylo, I have a, a super high level Thorny Dragon in there. Um, and if you want to use them, just go ahead and take this stuff down. Uh, if you want to help me gather. I don't know what I'm good for. I think we're in pretty good shape for crafting Adobe stuff. And I think I'm going to work on some stone stuff right now. But if you want to help me out and gather, you guys can hop in here and gather these guys. I could probably get fill the food trough. Uh, there's a good Doty over here. I forgot. I have this guy, and then we have a crappy Doty right here, a 235er. Um, and I don't have a good Anki, but there's a good one here. This guy's one of the this guy's one of the Wiz Ankies. Uh, Meister, I can't have coffee. At some point, guys, it might be smart for me to go get some coffee going. <laughs> We're gonna keep this thing rolling, or I'll wait till my brother wakes up. We settled our disagreement, by the way. If I mentioned having gotten a disagreement with my brother. Got on the same page. I smartened up. Okay, so let's go ahead and do... Let's see what we got. I don't think I'm going to have any ramp, uh, stone ramps. And what about ceilings? Triangle. We have those. Oh, okay. Well, what if we did this? Let's go ahead and grab... That's a 30 stack. And oh, how many ramps did I have? Let's just play with this for now. Because uh, we can swap this out for stone. And let's put those in the... I'll put the finished stuff in the vault for now. Um, but let's just play with this frame, <clears throat> frame rate stepping a little. Uh, that not that how you spell it? I guess you put the space in there. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Jack. 
Speed is key! I love Jack Septicai. And we have Jack Space Septicai in chat this morning. 13 million. How many subscribers has Jack got these days? Either way, good, good morning. Uh, you almost fooled me there for a sec, Jack. I was like, that can't be. That's not the real Jack. He's. What? Okay, so it could look. We could get something that looks a little bit like this, right? Uh, ooh, and the triangles aren't going to fit in there. Right, you'd need to use. Slopes? Are these vanilla ramps? What do we got here? And thank, thank, thank you, Rogue. Rogue, do you need gloves and boots, by the way? I always see you just barefoot and barehanded in this amazing purpleness. Uh, what's, what's he dropping off? Stone ramps, beauty. Okay, so we could certainly try that. But here's the issue. If I go over if some of these edges, we're going to clip. Like, I don't like how that's going to look. Whoops. What? Stupid. Uh, okay, I don't know if I like that. Ugh. I wonder, I wonder how, what the best way to do this is, guys. So my edges here, I've got a little three wide edges. I've got some two wide edges. The two wide edges could all get dino gates on them. Um, and then let's see what the stone's going to look like. Stone ramps are great. We can swap them to stairs. We can swap any of this to stairs. So you can do that and go like this. But I don't know. I don't know if we want to go this direction. I don't like that clip clip job. I don't know. I wonder if we just leave it like this. And just have this edge around here. It's a little bit tough. I probably could have started at an edge. I wonder. Okay, guys. Let's do a little zoom out. Because it's so easy to build this. I could take it out and we could, we could start over here. Um, okay, so let's see. So the two edges, the point that we've got to, we've got little short two edges and long three edges. I wonder how that happened. That's a natural, there was no way to avoid that, right? But yeah, Jinji, I need to know your techniques, my friend. Uh, okay, and you get Jake who's on an Xbox. Um, Jake, have you tried creative mode? Because guys, I found Jake uh, when I was doing some uh, building in islands and he had some good building stuff. Uh, by the way, what is your favorite game but not Ark? Uh, was, did Jack just pop in to say top of the morning? Dang it! I was hoping that guy would hang out for a minute. I was really entertained. You guys ever watch Jack? He's... Okay, not everybody likes... Usually when somebody gets to like 15 million subscribers, they have more haters than they have people who love them. But, but you only get there by being really consistent and generally by being really positive. Um, if you are Markiplier, if you are even people who crap on PewDiePie, for the most part, PewDiePie's message is a very positive message. Um, and if you're starting a new channel and asking for advice, there is only one bit of advice. Put, put the time in. Make videos. Until you've made 100 videos, you have no idea what you're going to be good at. So, Pug, if you want to ma make a YouTube channel, make 100 videos and then message me. Morning, Tyler. Uh, morning, Kai. Uh, Kai's a moderator in chat. Sorry I didn't see you there earlier, buddy. Okay, so I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know whether we try and make it over to the edge here. What would you do? Okay, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and, and uh, we'll see what we got. If we have any of the stuff necessary to do those dynamic gates, dynamic pillars, etc. So those diagonal things, those were dynamic pillars. Um, 60 something people watching, 51 likes. I haven't asked you guys. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and click the like button. Uh, so let's go ahead and search. Is that all under here? Dynamic pillar. Okay, so that one. Okay, so we got what we need. I thought so. I know I don't have a ton of pearls. So that's that, and it looks like we need to unlock some stuff. Dynam. Uh, oh, the gate just is the, there's only the one dynamic gateway. Yeah, Jake, you'll, you'll have fun. So that's the series I'm gonna get rolling with. Um, so we have, uh, this next week is the story-driven game. What I've talked to Kai about a lot is the council. 
Um, episode one's uploaded, uh, and we're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday with that game. Uh, and you won't see Ark for the the next five for the five days. Tomorrow, I have a really fun surprise stream planned. Um, I asked a bunch of patrons to help me. You don't need to have the game. You're going to be my sidekick while I play a game. It's hard to explain, but um, I don't want to spoil anything. Surprise stream. Um, I wonder if we just leave this here. And um, Gingy, I will share all my techniques if I can good, get good at video editing. Uh, Gingy, if your techniques are as good as they seem, um, I, I would like to show them off. So I, maybe I'll give you a hand. I, I teach you a little bit about how to make a video and you show me some cool building techniques. Um, I, when Aaron Longstaff's channel was brand new, I reached out and I was like, hey man, I know you're not talking in your videos, but hey, if you want, if you want, maybe you can do some builds for me and blah, blah, blah. I'm, Anyway, he didn't need any help. Aaron built his channel just fine. So, Gingy, pretty soon you'll have more subscribers than me. <laughs> uh, yeah, the council's going to be really fun. I so got hooked. I haven't played a story-driven game on the channel since Firewatch or something like that. And that was long before all of you were here. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do with this, guys. I wonder if we just start putting up some gates and stuff. Um, but yeah, Jinji, I have any cool techniques. So one of the things that's going to start along with um, the Building Evolved series is once a week at least I'm going to do an ARC Building Tips video um, and um, focus on tips. So maybe maybe you join me for one or two of those and we show off some cool tips. Uh, Rogue, you got some cool ideas? Go nuts. Teamwork. And feel free, hop in voice if you're not shy. Weekend stream voice. Um, I don't know what to do with this mess right now, guys. This is... It's hard hard building on camera. Um, okay, I, I made one of the... I made a couple of those dynamic pillars. I have really not played with them much. Uh, they would be in one of these containers, right? Right here, somebody making gates for me. Yeah, amazing. Okay, and let's go here. So how these pillars work and how you get them to go sideways? That's crazy. They have to snap into something? I really haven't played... I've played with the gates, but not the pillars. Jeez, how they're supposed to work. I don't know. Tell me, guys. Do they have to be attached to a wall or something? How's a dynamic pillar work? We've got foundations over... I don't know. It just goes straight in the ground. But yeah, go nuts. This is this community thing. Uh, I'm going to be selfish when I start building on the Building Evolved server and keep keep my areas to myself while I build them up because I have some big visions. Um, but what's going to happen is I have my little Viking town village. I have my harbor town. Um, both of those need some work to be brought to life, to be kind of reinvigorated. So that'll be step one. Um, and then what's going to be happening simultaneously is the geeks are going to be building elsewhere on the server, as is my friend SW Chris and his people. Um, what's my favorite dino? I like the I like the Equus. Um, the Thyla is pretty amazing, but the Equus is one of my favorites. The new RGs are pretty hard not to love. Have you guys seen this one? Uh, this was a gift from uh, no one's seen this. Uh, Webby gave me a new RG. Get me up here, okay? And I guess we could have one of you guys rocking with us. You want to roll with us here, Pug Puggy? Oh, we're hold on a sec. I, I put I switched the hats on my guys. Now my pug dog is wearing the musketeer hat. <laughs> Um, check out this RG. Very beautiful. Is it sunset already? God dang it. I haven't done anything with the day. Look at this magnificent creature. Right? Stunning. Am I heavy now? Are you carrying a bunch of stuff? Some stuff. Nothing too crazy. Uh, as for new building games, not really, Jake. I mean, you could get into Pixark. I tried to do a little Pixark build last week. And if you're typing, you're not timed out, bud. God damn it. Okay. All right, so I wonder if we just leave this like this and we start working on gating it off and we make a little place to stash some of these dinos. 
Do any of these dinos need a, a full-size gate? I think they all fit through a regular dino gate. Except for this guy. Uh, uh, except for the, whatchamacallits. Rock drakes. They might even fit through one. Let's go ahead, let's make a few, um, let's make a few stone gates and we can kind of prettify, prettify this later. Um, and you know what? Need some food. So a laid back stream, guys. When we're streaming like this and I'm trying to build on stream, um, be, be cool with the fact that uh, um, <laughs> progress may be slow. Somewhere in here is a giant pile of meat. I gotta get the, the ice box set back up and yeah, there we go. Oh, god dang it. Encumbered, too many stone ramps. Okay, well, I'm not sure what to do, guys. Um, let's, let's... And this might be too much gamma. Looks pretty good to me. I guess you don't, probably don't need that much gamma when you get a pug. Or a glow pug, whatever they're called. Bulb dog. I've, got, I've gotten the name wrong on those since the first day Aberration came out. I started calling them glow pugs, and I can't stop. It's because there are glow bugs. Oh, lag. Little lag. There we go. Uh, 62 likes and counting. Thank you, guys. That's another 11 from the last check-in. Uh, these are m maybe pointless. I know nobody's going to see these, but what are you going to do? All right. And then this is the first spot where it's going to look weird if we do it. So... So maybe we do something different there, or maybe, you know, maybe we go foundation there. I don't know what. Yeah, that's, I think that's probably the way we should do it. Uh, and then, and then we have to question, do we do some, what do we do in the in-between? Um, we just gotta make a little dino pen and we'll start stashing these guys over here. Uh, oh, there's Auntie Jay. Hello, Jay. She came and did a bunch of help for me yesterday in disassembling the other place. There were actually a bunch of people. Who else was around helping? Rogue was there. I think Sick came by. Uh, what arc expansion should I get? Um, if you if you haven't got any of them, the first one I would say is probably, especially if you're on console, I'd say get Scorched Earth because Scorched Earth comes with a building tier. Um, with Scorched Earth, you get access to the Adobe building materials, which I, I, I really, they're great. Uh, so we're going to need eight of those, seven more of those gates. Is that right? Don't craft that many, please. Whoops, that didn't go. I think it's going now, right? Yep. Whoa, that's too many. Oh, is someone already making them? Hold on a sec. Oh, well, that was fast. Oh, no. What? I saw 12 there. What the mess? There we go. Yeah, and aberration aberration is a it's a got a unique flavor. It is a little bit different than uh, than the other games or the other versions of Ark. It's basically you go sci-fi, um, which uh, some people totally dig. I know for some people that was like they reinvigorated their love for Ark. Um, was the ability to do that uh, was was the addition of, of a sort of sci-fi element so this is not going to be pretty as it stands now so I, I may need your help guys and uh, oh that's different that's the wait what do I got there why did that look like a dynamic gateway is that what this, the thing looks like now why am I seeing the gate in the middle of it anyway I'm being beaten to the punch um, and let's let's see what what won't fit through there. Will a rock drake fit through? The only other thing I'd be worried. Okay. What? Too heavy. What's on you? Oh crap! Wow, you got a lot of junk. What's the heavy bits though? Nothing here is heavy. One, 
two, three. Oil. Oil's not even that heavy. And you got my good shotgun here. Look at the damage on that baby. I'm out of ammo though. <laughs> Alright, we'll go put some stuff away. Oh, now I'm too heavy. God dang it. Alright. Here, hold on to this for a sec, buddy. Hey, what's up, Stewie? Go bring him by the Equus. Uh, where was I going to put guns and, and useful stuff here? Take this. I don't know what I'm doing with all this oil. I'm not going to need it. Uh, oh, and I have these still. That's probably weighing me down. So do they, they're not going to... It doesn't really matter with one of these. He can sit. He can have his own little place. If I can get him out of here. I think I might need to move those stupid bears. <laughs> he trapped. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, there we go. God, frame rate's struggling a little bit here, guys. I hope it's not obvious. So, uh... Let's try and walk him through a gate. Uh, I don't think they fit through. But he's the only thing I have that won't. Right, right. So maybe we do a dynamic three three wide on the entrance here. This would be a good spot for me to do that. Uh, let's go grab the dynamic gate. And we'll slap one of those right, maybe right in the center. We'll do a little three wide. And I just, honestly, I just need a corral to keep these creatures in. Okay. So I may need, oh, you know what I don't have? I, it's the... CC here have veggies in it. Isn't that what's needed for completing this? Oh, and does do, they don't snap the same way? Right, right. Okay, so we'd have to go uh, like this. G. And you just have to free place it. Will they snap if you put down a fence foundation? I don't think so, right? Uh, William, sorry if I didn't say hello. Morning, Cor Corwa the Geek. New name. Uh, <clears throat> and, um, uh, baby girl, we're gonna have to come do a tour because you do have a pretty great little log cabin. Log cabin bistro based on log cabin 2. Uh, why don't we do this from the inside? And I'll go K mode. Definitely need to tighten this up. Maybe do a little of that. Nope, more. Too much. Yeah, these are interesting. I didn't know, I forgot that they didn't snap. So you'd have to have something like that. Oh, I didn't choose the material, did I? Q. Yeah, these are tricky. Uh, okay, so material, H to stone. And then we go uh, G, G, F, F, and crouch. And four high, actually, is what you need, right? No. Height is F. Okay. And I switched the material again. That's pretty close. That's not bad. So I think you only need the veggies to craft it, right? Is that how that works? Finish crafting. Uh, okay, so just stone wood thatch. Uh, what was it? 240, 120, and 60. Okay, so let's just do... Uh, remind me. Uh, crap. This thing. Stone. 
Right? 120? Was that what it was? Yeah, we're very well supplied. Thank you, guys. And then Thatch was 60, I think. Unless somebody's beating me to, to it right now. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. And then, does the dynamic gateway, you have to choose your own gate? Is that how it works? Yeah. Okay, so let's go get a dynamic gate going next. Which somebody might have already beaten me to. I guess I can use this thing. Uh, dynamic gate. Is that not it? Items to transfer dynamic gate. Transfer. Is that how that works? I don't know how that works. I don't use this thing very often. It might be good if I went and got the coffee rolling. Oh. Um, on the geek server, blah, blah, blah. That was Colorado Springs. No, it's all PVE. Yeah, we do that. We're pretty friendly around here. We're all pals with each other. Hello, David. You know what, guys? Let me go get the coffee rolling. I'll... I'll well, I'll pause this thing for a sec. I'll be right back. Uh, let's see. Uh, Okay, back, and I realized I made this and I forget to use it. See? Wouldn't this... Excuse me. What? Wouldn't that be better? I guess my chair would be in the way. Anyway, doesn't matter. The stream will resume now. But when I go to get the coffee... Alright guys, thank you for waiting for that. <laughs> Hello Colton, welcome to the stream. Uh, I think the dynamic gates are an S-plus thing. They totally are. Um, and coffee 
good morning, disorderly. Uh, coffee's a go-to for me. Um, now the uh, question is, I see we're working on the next set of dynamic gates. I wonder if we should do that all around or if we should do walls. We should try and do something in between. I guess on these sides, it might make sense to rock the walls or to rock gates. But let, um, maybe get some Adobe rolling as part of this design. Maybe we could do Adobe gates in the gate gateways. I guess let's, that's something easy to do. Let's go ahead and try that. Gate and let's go ahead and make uh, ooh, we don't have that many. Here, let's go here. Oh, that might be Behemoth. Stop. Right. That's why we don't have many. It's like, I know I have a lot of Adobe. Jeez. Man, imagine if I made eight Behemoth gates. That would have sucked. Let's just do four for now. And you can hear me. Right. My favorite builds. Lord, that's a tough one. Uh, it'll be some of the stuff that you see in, when that new series kicks up. Um, the, the Building Evolved series. My favorite builds are not necessarily like a building, like the Elevator Workshop, which I know people love, but I think it would be um, like the whole cities I've, I've, I've built. That's kind of up my alley. I got my, the, the so there's a YouTuber named b O. Anyone know B-dubs? Whoops. Here, put, put this piece of crap away. Um, anyway, that was the guy that made me want to be a YouTuber. Um, I think that combo will work. We are in the desert. I think we should probably get some adobe going. And I'm going to probably make these gates at the back be uh, manual. Um, but yeah, the dynamic gateways are uh, a thing they added a little while ago, Jinji. Uh, and they are basically... Um, well, this goes back to Minecraft. You remember in Minecraft when you, you could change the size of the portal? And you, you didn't just have to have whatever the 3 by four, whatever it is, uh, but instead you could have a, 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 a portal of any size. The dynamic gateways are exactly that. So you place them down. Do I have another one? Let's go grab the other one and I'll show you exactly how it works. You can make them enormous. Uh, so I think they can go up to 12 by 12 and they can go down to as small as one by one, uh, which is pretty crazy. This one, right? Nope. You know what? Let's just make another one. It's gonna get used anyway. Uh, do that. Oh, you know what? I must have used up all my pearls. There is another one sitting here, right? No. Dang, I thought we had, I thought we made three. It must be in my inventory. Or in somebody's inventory. Or maybe I put it in this box. I don't know. But anyway, the dynamic gateways are totally adjustable. Um, I would think I would put the forge in... F okay. In place of the eight vaults on the side. That You need to make it pretty darn big if you're going to rock the industrial forge there, my friend. I, I, have, I have worked on designs for future versions of that that I thought would be good. Um, and tried to work around the forge. And it is hard to do difficult don't know what he wants yeah I don't know either <laughs> uh, this 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 just needs to be fairly quick and dirty I'm gonna grab some Adobe walls um, stuff like that and we'll start slapping some stuff in here guys maybe a mix of Adobe and wood for the sides uh, so let's go here It's a very, it's a true mess. This is why a man needs a proper base. A leg? Nope. One of these has a stupid amount of stuff in it. Yeah. So we'll take those and we'll go with uh, maybe some wood walls too some wood window frames and we'll see if we can come up with like a little pattern to this that isn't going to be terrible um but i didn't really do a good job Gingy. but yeah you can you can go ahead and get yourself a one by one gate or a 12 by 12 gate or what we have here is a three by three gate so once you put a gate in there uh which i don't have at the moment uh then you will 
you will have a gate uh, that looks roughly like these, a stretched out version of that. So instead of two by four, it's gonna be three by three. And this one ought to be manual as well. I don't think we're gonna be coming in and out of this. Those are a little bit more decorative. Um, okay, so then what about four? What about, I wonder if you did something like this and went one, two, three, uh, one, two, uh, hmm. Let's take you down, and then like this. Let's go look at this from the outside. I, that's all right, right? That's interesting. I wonder if we should do stone at the top. I don't know. Uh, or, or leave it. Okay, yeah, we can try that. We can totally try that, Jay. Uh, and I'll just do it the, the lazy way for a sec here. Stone at the bottom and move everything up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay. Now, I wonder, do you guys like, do you think it should go all the way to the top? Or do you think that we should have it sit one lower? But yeah, stone would be good because we've already got the stone rocking. And, okay, so you have nothing in you. Let's go ahead and remove you so I stop looking. And you just have those. Okay. Whoa. Okay, no walls. And, okay, oh, there's a lot of adobe in that one. <laughs> okay, so we're not, I knew, I knew I had silly amounts of stuff floating around. This is all from the... Uh, that fortress build I was working on. And... Let's go here. Yeah, the lack of coffee is an odd one, guys. I don't think I've ever started... I can't remember the last day I, like, got into my day and hadn't had coffee. Like, it's usually the first thing I do in the morning, but this morning I was a little distracted. Ooh, too heavy still. Okay, take those back for the moment. And let's put these stone bad boys on the old H bar. And we'll work out do something like this. And I should probably grab some seal here. Let's just uh, crafting. Let's just pull ourselves some. Uh, let's go with we'll need three. Craft all three. Okay. And you do that. And then what did I have? I had something that looked like this. And we'll see. I know Jayla suggested inside out. I think I might like it better this way, but we'll see. And the ceilings are what we're going to use to try the inside outing. That's pretty simple. Yeah, I think that could work. It's not going to be... Uh, that's not going to look terribly out of place here, I don't think. Ooh, and there's the first, uh, if you're still watching Jinji, that is the first dynamic gate um, Stewie is slapping in there. So if you see it, it just fits and stretches to whatever space you need, which is pretty darn cool. Um, we'll compare it because uh, we'll be able to put these side by side if you see them. You know what I mean? Something like that. See how that looks? Pretty cool. And then the only difference with these is they are completely silent. Hear this? Oh, actually, everything's completely silent. Do I have my audio? Can you guys hear any audio? I can't. Is it just too quiet? Whoops. Dang it. So bad at games. Yeah, I don't know if there's any sound. Oh, well. Uh, we got music, you got my voice. And hello, Jimmy, if I didn't say hi this morning. Um, ch -ch -ch. Metal colored mud, 72 likes and counting. Uh, nope, tard. Unusually tired Canadian. Ha! <laughs> UTC. 
yes, they are pretty cool. Um, and and three by three is like I think they go up to twelve by twelve, which is just crazy. It's like um, a double behemoth gate, basically. So what do you guys think of that? That'll that'll work as a thing. I think we need. What is Jayla saying? Blah, 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 not talking to me. We're good. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do this around the back, and then we'll maybe do a little flyout on uh, Stratus, the new uh, RG. If I whoops, if I name a creature, it means I like it. Most of the time, I don't name my creatures in this game anymore. Too much time has passed. I okay. don't know how to do it anymore. Ooh, or do we? Or what if they're not all the same? <laughs> this is gonna be silly. Uh, what if? What if I mix it up and we do? Nope. That. Okay. No, probably better if it's consistent. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, I do have an idea for if I ever get to build something massive in this place, which would probably be the next time we have Ragnarok on the creative building server. Um, that uh, I, I also, for me, I think I, I was talking to this with uh, was it Stoutman. Somebody was sharing their pictures with me, um, talking about how much they love the new creative mode. It is a game changer. You got the ability to fly. Um, it's it's just whoops it's just uh if you know if you get burnt out building in this game uh, it kind of can refresh your refresh your energy it's a pretty straightforward thing uh one there one there one there and then we're coming around to the front but let's oh i did do stairs there So let's say that's center. You go one, two. Then yeah, this will be walls too. This will be walls too, and maybe I can pop these out for now. Just just so I'm not confusing myself. And I am getting tired. So I started a while back. Um, one of the geeks plays actually a couple, but a couple people are part of a, um, a role-playing, whatchamacallit, Pathfinder, Dungeons & Dragons style uh, gaming thing, and um, invited me to come hang out and see if I would like it, and they play online, it's all, you're basically just typing most of the time and not chatting, um, <clears throat> and, uh, and, what was I saying? What about it? Use your brain, UTC. What am I saying? Oh, anyway, and they invited me to do that, but it's Friday night, so if you're catching me now on Saturday mornings, I will have been up on the Friday night before, and uh, and I will have been up doing doing a dun like online Dungeons and Dragons thing. Pretty fun. Um, this this week, I actually got to use all this all the skills. I kind of built a not a character that's built for combat. I'm a I'm a gnome, and I ride around on a dog. And uh, I'm okay at fighting, but my real skills are diplomacy. I'm a real, I'm a real statesman, a real diplomat. I can talk, talk, talk my way out of most such scenarios. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> but um, uh, uh, last week, yeah, the last night, the the uh, what do we call it, dungeon master, I guess, the DM game master. Uh, who's organizing it and set up a, a thing that really let me let me flex those charisma skill muscles which is pretty fun uh hello to furious monkey and it, well i just did a complete failed troll what's up what's up james james is um also i saw a chat in chat today also running a dungeons and dragons thing is that right i believe so hi ally ally been rocking out on the pixar server how's your you're working on the bamboo forest right how's it coming together do I have to stop by and tour it soon? Does it bother anyone else? Like, I wish... I wish that would go down. It looks so weird to me. It always makes me want to use fence foundations and drop that down. It's like 70 out there. Finally, spring is here. I gotta tell you guys, Canada is a beautiful country most months of the year. April is not one of them. 
I went out today and I, could, I woke up to the sound of like, I heard rain, but I'm like, that's not regular rain, that's freezing rain. Um, and <laughs> and I woke up and I went outside, wa walked the dogs, whatever. I went to go back in my door and the, the little button on the screen door was just frozen over with a whole sheet of ice. I had to crack, crack through it and get my damn way out there. Okay. So yeah, I'm not sure the best way to go about things. Guys, what do you think? How are we doing so far? Um, good enough. Yeah, good enough for me. Um, maybe we do another Adobe Gate here, or maybe uh, maybe on either side of... Maybe on either side, we carry... We don't need gates, and we just use the big main gate, and you were to do something like this. Right? Right? Could totally do that. That's interesting. Yeah, let's try that. I mean, we're gonna have a couple of these gates on here. Yes. Okay, that was a nice. Okay, so somebody likes that. Uh, I think I'm gonna run out of something here. Wood walls in a sec. Oh, I hear the audio. It's coming out of my dang stupid speakers. I don't think there's a way to fix that midstream. I don't know if you guys will hear this. Dang it. Why would you come out of those? That's not what you're set to do. Okay. Okay, tell me if you hear this. No. It's coming out of this monitor. Damn it! Sorry for the language, guys. Um, I do have to warn you, this game that I've been teasing, that uh, the series is going to start on Monday, the, the council, definitely has some, some more grown-up moments than most of the games we play. By the last episode, I have put my moves on one of the female characters. Just, just trying, to, trying, to, trying to win her over. Very seductive. Um, so yeah, it, it, a little bit more grown up. The, uh, language is not bad. I think the only thing they say is shh. Which I, again, you're all adults, but I'd rather not swear. The bad word for poop. That's pretty much the only the only swear words you hear in the, the thing. But then occasionally you will see some, some sexy moments in the game. Okay, so what do you think? Do we have a, we have a dino pen? Not bad. Now, the only thing for symmetry would be to remove this. I don't know if that's necessary. I don't know what we think of that. Oop, Jayla beat me to it. I'm out of, it's the wood I'm, <laughs> I'm out of. Hold on. Uh... Oh, idiot. Oh, lag. That's what's happening. Okay, hold on. That's now symmetrical. We get the two gates on the front with filled-in gates on either side, then wall, then wall, then gate, wall, gate, wall, gate. And this is the center of the back. Yeah. Is there no gate for this? I guess not. I'll make one. Looking looking pretty good, though. Uh, nothing fancy, but I mean, that'll work, right? To store some stuff, and it'll clear out some space. Um, I'll start, start trying to move a few things over. So I wonder, I've basically given away a few dinos and simplified things. I guess I should keep a basic collection of gathering creatures anytime somebody comes here to help me build. So let's go ahead and bring bring this big pink lady down here. This is Marge. Tamed her on Valentine's Day. Didn't. Actually, Ned tamed her for us. If you're floating around here, Ned, a.k.a. Dingo. And then, and then we'll be able to maybe disassemble this and start working on this.
I say we bring some stuff over for now. And you know what? I'm gonna, uh, does this guy have a name? Let's name this guy. Uh, and Dynamic's not around so much anymore. I don't know if his tag needs to be on there. UTC. We're gonna call it. What color is that? Mmm. Baby girl, you're out? Okay, well, that's awesome. Gotta get a Mantis UTC? That's probably a good idea. I'm trying to simplify. <laughs> Allie's off to a museum? Oh, that's fun. Is that where Baby Girl went? Did I miss that? Uh, the Council Jake is, um... Oh, Lord. I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, it is. Okay, so think, um... Think, imagine an Indiana Jones movie set 50 year, 150 years earlier. So it starts in 1791... And uh, that's um, that's an interesting time in history. That's like um, French Revolution, um, early days of the United States. Oh, and you should be on manual too. Um, early days of the United States, and you, you're you have been invited to a secret island uh, where your mother, who is part of like an Illuminati stonemason type secret society, has disappeared after going to this rich guy's strange private island and you have to go find your mom and then uh, the other people who are on the island are, are historical figures some of them napoleon is there george washington is there and it's basically think like um think a telltale game like a telltale story game but where the choices actually matter uh if if so basically there's i i know one other person who plays the game and so one of one of the one of the endings for the game is very happy and you make this decision and you, you end up getting this thing you've wanted for the whole story and you're like oh yes this is great I, I made all the right moves there's another ending where you don't even meet that you don't even finish with that character you finish with a different character and i think you wake up and find her dead in the morning it's like the actual the choices make a an actual difference and the other part of it that's really cool is it has it has rpg elements to it so as you're playing through, you're not just making choices and you're the same character every time you play. Every time you play, you can hone your skills differently and you can sort of make your character a different style of person. You can be an investigator, you can be an occultist, you can be a, a diplomat. And, um, and then as you play through, you build up different skills and it makes different things possible and different things not possible. Um, as the story goes on. So I ended up playing kind of same way I was talking about from my, oops, am I still connected here? No, obviously. Um, ended up playing, uh, man, RGs, right. the RGs are so great now, aren't they? I've been away for a while, UTC. How you been? Jurassic Yeti, welcome back. Thank you, sir. Very generous. I appreciate that. First super chat of the day. Um, so eventually we will maybe find a make a little proper spot for RGs, but for now uh, We'll just move everything down here. I think it's gonna be good. I think we're gonna make quite a bit of room here um, I should probably Whoops Okay, so I have this horse like look how bad this place is designed like what is the point of it? Was I making like a display for creatures or was I making an actual useful? Dino barn this ring is so much better um, so there's actually a bunch of horses around here. I wonder if I should stash this guy back at the community center. Um, I'm just going to zip over there and see if the other guys are still alive. Um, but yeah, so Telltale, it's like the Telltale games, but um, the biggest criticism of those is that they give you an illusion of choice. Where they go, oh, do you go with this character or do you go with this character? But the story is going to end up the exact same way. Based on how I've seen the two or three possible endings for episode one of The Council... I have no idea how they're going to start episode three, so or episode two. So for episode two, if you finish it the way I finished it, um, I don't want to spoil things, but you, you, you finally meet this character that you've been wanting to meet, and you have this really good ending where you, you make a really strong friendship with another character and find out that character's secrets and reveal some of your own. The alternate ending is you never meet the character you've been trying to meet, um, and simultaneously, the character that you do make friends with ends up dead. And it's like, how can those two things just balance out at the beginning of the next chapter? 
Um, and then from a play style, it's got a bunch in common with L.A. Noir. If you guys ever played L.A. Noir, um, the investigative sort of points of view of L.A. Noir, where you're going through crime scenes and looking at that kind of stuff. It's not really crime scenes in this scenario, but um, so. Yeah, I tamed all these up a few weeks ago. I don't really have a plan for them anymore. Kind of the plan that I have has changed. Um, so I'm just going to stash this guy here for now. If anybody wants horses, I guess, why would I put two in one stall? There's three stalls here, idiot. But I was going to get a whole flock of horses going like I had on the Ragnarok Explorer series. But I may maybe we'll come back and borrow these and a few of us can go out on a little exploring adventure we could always do that we talked i was talking about that with Lai in the discord yesterday if you guys aren't part of it um the the geeks uh obviously this patreon server not everybody's going to become a patron but everybody can join our discord and people are talking in there every day geeking out about arc sharing pictures of their favorite builds especially recently people are sharing pictures of their breeding stuff um, pe people do an amazing looking uh thylas and RGs and what else what else has been what else has been um breeding up and um Jake if you're talking about wanting the game I will say this it definitely has some replay value but if you make it past episode one or two for me uh some things are going to start getting spoiled so episode one nothing's really going to get spoiled and um, you're going to enjoy it just the same so before I played the game I watched somebody else's episode one uh part one it's confusing because it's confusing because they're calling the first installment of the game uh, the Council, Episode 1, The Mad Ones. So for me, I can't go, this is Episode 1, Episode 1. So I have Episode 1, Part 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, Pug saying we should name it Olive. That's an interesting name. It was more of like a, a like a, I was going to go with like, it's not quite lemonade. It's some kind of crazy like electric yellow color. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, what have you guys been breeding? What are the crazy colors you've been breeding up? Uh, and what creatures? Too far? Come on. I can do it. Nope. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> okay. Gatherers. Yep. Okay. So that's not bad. Um, and then, so once that's done, with that, that dino pen done, I think the plan will be to take this thing apart. It's an interesting concept, but I, I, I it's not, I don't think I want to live in this. Uh, let's do a little flyover. By the way, wingsuit's best thing of all time, right? Um, this all used to be glass, all those stone bits. It got busted up. So I don't want to do anything major involving greenhouse glass. That tower is nice. That's a neat idea. Uh, the shadow. Yeah, the Argies and the Thylas. Those are the two I mentioned, Jayla, and I know you're working on both of those. What's up, Kevo? Welcome to the stream. Um, and shadow is one of Jayla's. Has not gotten a whole lot of use. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, I spent uh, the better part of this year running around Ragnarok and just exploring it. And then I got rock drakes and wingsuits. And then I spent a lot of time gliding around it. And now this server has teleporters everywhere. So I really don't do as much as I probably should. Um, okay, so what I would like to do is do something built around that. And maybe have one wing that comes out this way. One wing that comes out that way. Or, I don't know what, but I think this building ought to come down. It's pretty gro It's pretty sloppy. There we go. Wings, hoots, plus grappling, reusable grappling hooks. Amaze. Arcane scroll be breeding jerboas. That's right. Um, forgot about that. Going for going for some. Um, it's a lot of work breeding. I've tried to get into that too, and I've never properly done it. Uh, and it, nothing left over here, eh? Okay, so I think. I think now we have to decide what what to do so I've got this little area up here whoops which would make a good bedroom um, if I did it properly and I managed to get the exact height we needed uh, last time when we were building so that's a pretty good height um, we can make a little bedroom up here and figure out how to make it accessible um, and it's got these windows these are not great because you get a crouch to get out of them but um, now let's leave those as windows um, if we do this right, we can probably figure out how to put glass in those. That would be kind of neat. Okay, Allie, off to the deep ocean expedition. Uh, and Star is doing ravagers. Um, baby girl's doing wolves. 
Yeah, he is closer to a lime color. I'm with you on that. Uh, you know, the prettier, the more useless. Uh, you might think that about one of the characters in this game I'm gonna play. <laughs> um, I would like guys one of these days. I think we should set up like a grappling hook race course. Just put some invisible glass walls up or put some glass walls up in the air and you just boom and then you zip over to I think that would be fun. Okay, so everything's mostly been cleared out of here, which means now we have the ominous task of actually building something good here. That was the easy part. Oh, hey, dung hey dungy. Might as well throw you. What? Leg? Look at the good job laying this out. You guys do a great job organizing. Uh, you can go there. Um, oh yeah, don't let me forget you, bud. This dog, this thing needs a name too. He has been a, he has been an ever, he has been a companion of mine. He went, he's the guy that went with me to kill Rockwell, um, and still doesn't have a name. I think he originally belonged to, not Baby Girl, to Nettie maybe. I can't remember who he originally belonged to, but I, I got him as a gift. Not as a gift. I found him and brought him back, and they were like, yeah, I don't want him. You can have him. Uh, what are the musketeers' names? Uh, like I can spell D'Artagnan. Uh, okay, how about this? We'll just French him up. This is the name of the main character in the council. This is Louis. He looks like a Louis. Okay. So, oh gosh, guys. So, and Nettie's obviously doing Rexes, as you can tell there, guys. People doing Gigas. j has got a F ton of Gigas. That's how I got to level 99. All right. So, uh, where, where to now? <laughs> uh, okay. Let's, why don't I do, I'll, I'll do the first little story up there. As for you guys helping me, I'm not sure the best plan. I think you're probably clear if you want to just disassemble this whole thing and start fresh. The only part of it that was really frustrating was doing this tower. So I mean maybe we leave part of the tower and we, we figure out what to do with it later. But everything but the tower, probably, just start wrecking it. And even if you wreck the tower, Rogue, because uh, uh, you're going to be seeing this a few seconds after I say it, I won't be mad. None of this am I attached to. The idea was for it to look like sort of a stables, um, but then it really just wasn't useful. The only way to get in and out w <laughs> was this, which this part still works, right? We can still use this uh, and build off of here. Uh, but I'm gonna grab, why don't I grab a bunch of stone ceilings and foundations and we'll, uh, ceilings tr and triangle ceilings, I mean. Uh, oops, okay. And let's use the transfer tool, because I, I think this is going to be smart. We'll be able to pull everything we have. So if I go triangle, stone triangle ceiling, and stone ceiling, and I just go transfer to me. Is that how it works? Or do I have to choose the container? Source, all structures, destination, S plus vault. That's how it works. Transfer. 226 items. Okay, so now we go look in the vault. Whoops, that's not the way in and out. <laughs> and we should have way more than we need. If I go stone, yeah, we're stocked up. Okay, so let's take a half a stack of those and let's move everything we don't need back. Uh, you can have this, you can have that bed, you can have this table, you can have those railings, you can have these walls, pillars, dynamic pillars. How do the dynamic pillars work? And by the way, 87 likes and counting. Aramis, Porthos, what do you think about Louis? I, I, I'm leaning towards Louis only because that's the character in the game. You play uh, Louis... What's his full name? Moras de Richet is the name of the character. So uh, the biggest criticism I've seen people give of the game is they don't love the voice acting. And I guess the lip syncing is not great when they match up the lips, but I really... I found some of the characters to be very charming. Especially the Duchess. The Duchess is a smoke show. Uh, very, yeah. 
Okay, so let's just try filling this out. Oh, look at how good that is. Am I, did I, I I'm not a, a genius, right? Okay, no. Uh, I think what's gonna have to happen is the bed comes out and this comes out, right? That's, that's how you would do this. And you would do this and this. Okay, so we're gonna wanna make some adjustments. Uh, in order to have it be be smooth. So that would go there. Then maybe we go with another square there and another square there. And these ones, can we can make some adjustments here in the middle. And we'll figure out where our starting point is. Oh, I think I broke. He's just going to float up there forever. That's pretty funny. Oops. Yeah, no biggie. It wasn't anything important. So, these can go like that, right? And now we're actually, I mean, we're kind of, we should be able to do this almost perfectly. This is uh, F is for family, this is Guardians of the Galaxy, and this is the Geeks. This has been a theme song for us. Don't worry, it's, if this is the end of the playlist, we're keeping going, guys. But it may be a good time for me to take that break and go get some coffee. So then it's going to have to be... Okay, so this is the difficulty. Now we run into this, where this isn't going to work out, or is it? Oh, it is. Okay. Interesting, though, right? Like, we're doing... I'm going to have to back out and have a look, but we're doing a pretty good job. It's a lot of triangles at this point in this, the game here. And we're not lined up with my original wall here. So I don't want to take it... I guess I still have that snap point, so... Okay. Okay, this is where it's going to get tricky. So that would have to go there. And then... Then we have to figure out how you get up and down from here. Is a ladder going to be the best way? Okay. You know what, guys? Let's see if... Keep an eye on the chat. See if... Uh, oh, actually, why don't we go ahead and do this? Spiral stairs. Yeah. Okay, well, give me a sec here, guys. Let's go get that coffee rolling. I will come back energized. And Zeller, you are very, very kind. I see some great names. Aramis, Porthos, D'Artagnan. Thank you. I could have tried that. And Amadeus was another suggestion. Okay, give me one sec, guys. BRB. This. And mute. I'm back. 
I realized that you couldn't read that message. It could have said, the stream will resume never. Uh, how are you liking this beautiful Ontario weather? I talked about it a little bit earlier, John. I said, uh, Canada is a... The weather in Can Canada... What did I say? Canada is a beautiful country many months of the year. April is not one of them. In Canada, that's probably too vague. It might be beautiful in PEI or uh, Victoria right now, but... In Ontario, yeah. I had to... So I went out and walked my dogs, John, and I had to... I had to break the ice off the, the handle of my door in order to get back in my house. Went to grab it, and I was like, holy crap, I'm going to be locked out. And it was just crack. Smashed through it. So, yeah, we also had crazy winds. Did you have any crazy winds? Uh, not this week, but the week before, John? So, the spiral staircase. Oh, I see somebody already working on it. Okay, and we're going to eat a little food here. Um, oh, what first started you on ARC? Oh, that's a fun question, Manani. Um, I could go find you the old playlist. I'm sure I could do that. But um, it was uh, dinosaurs. Pretty straightforward. I, I um, was maybe eight or nine when Jurassic... Eight? Seven or eight? When eight, when Jurassic Park came out. And it was the best movie I'd ever seen in my whole life. Because I was... So basically, I'm sure it's different now, but when in like 1989, 90, when you went to kindergarten, they really didn't have anything cool to teach you about. It was basically like, here's some shapes, here's some coloring. Have you guys heard of dinosaurs? And we were all like, holy crap, this is the only thing we care about. Dinosaurs are the only cool thing in the world. And so I learned about Brontosaurus, Brachius. Actually, this is cool. Wait one sec, if you guys don't mind. Okay, so right around kindergarten, right around kindergarten, I got this book. It's, oh, my camera's reversed, I forgot. And part of this is green, so it's being removed by the chroma key. But it's called The Colossal Book of Dinosaurs. And um, it's got a bunch of crappy, like this is what people used to think dinosaurs looked like. That's a T-Rex, apparently. <laughs> they used to stand straight up. This is like only from the 80s. That's a, that's some kind of, it's not a raptor, but it's the Deinonychus, which is raptor-like and a sarco, I think. Anyway, and so this book got me loving them. And the best part of this book, if you're like, this is fine book if you're into pictures and stuff, but if you're a nerd, and I was a nerd, like when I was maybe five years old, I could recite all the baseball stats of every baseball player. Like I was a total, I just knew everything about, I liked stats and details and and so then there's this part of the book that is a, a dictionary. And and <laughs> and so Ankylosaurus. You guys know what ankylos look like, right? Right there. So that's the ankylo. And I know the I know the text is gonna be backwards for you guys. Uh, Archaeopteryx is in here. So this for me as a young kid, I really learned a lot compies. Uh, I wonder what else would be cool. What, it, feel free if you want me to look something up at some point. Oh, this one's crazy. They had no idea what Dilophosaurus were like. Either that or... Or Dilophosaurus is a lot bigger than... Did Jurassic Park and Ark get them wrong? Spitters. But they have the Dillo as being 20 feet tall and weighing 1,500 pounds. And it looks like almost as big as a T-Rex. So, I don't think... Are Dillos actually that big? How big were Dillos in reality? Because I think I wonder if Jurassic Park took some creative liberties. Anyway, there's some amazing illustrations and stuff. So this was the start of me loving dinosaurs. Got me hooked. That along with kindergarten. Then Jurassic Park comes out, and you can see it all for real compared to this. Like, look at the cover of that book. That's a spino. That's a triceratops. Um, and then in in Jurassic Park, you can see it all for real. And that basically, so just the right age, I got completely hooked in, loved it, and then. Uh, I built my channel playing, um, built my channel plan, uh, not built, I started my channel playing Minecraft, and, um, by the way, it's cool, you get the house protection bonus in here, 
um, which is great. Love my love me the Ragnarok map. Um, and uh, um, uh, and so yeah, then the game came out. It had dinosaurs. I figured I'd play it. At the time, I was watching a lot of like YouTubers. Like if you go back and watch that series, I was watching a lot of Jacksepticeye type YouTubers where my that original series of me playing Ark was a lot of me like getting really excited and just clipping together all the bad things that happened to me. Yep. Um, uh, what was I saying? Um, what does UTC have a whatever? I don't have a full set of desert, desert cloth. I have an ascendant shirt though. Are you gone? Are you still here rogue or did rogue go? Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, that can work. That can work to get me up and down. Are you gone, Rogue? Probably went back to Jayla's place. All good. All good. Um, so I think I think all of this, uh, this... Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, so I'll say if you guys are watching the stream, I put this in mainly to get the height, and we use that height to build this, but we no longer need this, so this whole thing can come down. Well, let's leave that wall there. You never know when you're going to need a different anchor point. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, we're bad at aiming, aren't we? <laughs> uh, and there's some foundations hidden under here. I don't know if these have to do... Let's just take stuff out, and we can we can start, start fresh with new angles and things like that. Yeah, this needs to come out, too. Uh, can't hear him? What does that say? Okay, I think we're good. Okay, and we left the side of the tower. Interesting. What do you guys think of this thing? <laughs> Worth keeping? Wonder what the value of it would be. Because it's too small to really... I guess you could put a spiral staircase up the inside of it. And put something up inside it. Um... Did I ever get the that came with 3D glasses? No, I don't think we had those, John. Welcome back, Pug. Seven meters in length for a Dillo. So this is right. It says 20 feet. Yeah, Dillos in the game are wrong then. Arc Dillos and Jurassic Arc Dillos are Jurassic Park Dillos, which are not right. Interesting, right? Okay. So if we're gonna come down to here. Maybe... Um, okay, so one thing we could do, guys, is have this... This could level off at a height that lines up with that. It would be good. It would be good if we could use this, right? This, this should be an entrance exit. It's the only... It's, it's the better of the holes to do that with. Whoa. Like, this this is a proper size thing to turn into a door. Whereas this, probably not so much. So maybe we'll go slap, slap our hands on some foundations. Uh, and let's try transfer tooling that. Uh, oh, I've got some. So I know from the outside, because I was playing this in creative mode on single player last night. Um, while I was waiting for the, uh, the game, the, the whatchamacallit game to get rolling, um, the Pathfinder game. Okay, so I know for sure that you can get this pretty darn perfect. And that looks somewhat straight. Does that look straight to you guys? Oh no. Oh no. Dillo TLC. Yeah, imagine if they made a Dillo that was that big, guys. You'd be able to ride it. It's bigger than a Raptor. Raptors aren't seven meters long. Not even close. Three, maybe. Four. I think raptors are a lot smaller than they seem, actually. Uh, watchtower can be a lighthouse. Yep. Um, tech elevator. That's true. 
Uh, that's true, Max. We could get a tech, tech elevator going in this thing. It's a skeleton of a thing at the moment. Um, so I really like greenhouse glass, guys. I think it looks great. Um, it's just very fragile, as I've learned. You don't want to build big, big, important walls entirely out of that. Okay, and Rogue's all geared up now. Okay, so if we were to build at this height... That's smooth. That's flawless. Oh, almost. You think I should adjust it so that it's... That's pretty good, though. I wonder if we should get it so the stone comes up through there. Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay. It's really not that hard to do. I know Rogue, you offered to do it. I can definitely get her going. I was playing with this a lot yesterday, so there's a bunch of different... Uh, so I just had to choose to do that instead. Whoops. Oh, why keep doing that? I keep forgetting that that's a thing. This is just going to check the sort of straightness of it, although I don't know, there is no real, that doesn't really line up with anything. Yeah, we'd be better, be better off trying to, it would be cool if we could shift it ever so slightly, like shift it out this way. That would be a triangle foundation trick. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I need, I'm gonna need more anyway, so, and the sun's rising on us, which is great. Let's put you down there, old Louie. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, buh. Transfer tool and see what we got for foundations. Oh, someone, someone answering the favorite question. Men and I, yeah, I said the horse, it's a tough call. I don't know, I like Tapaharas, they're pretty good, but I never use them. Source all structures, and we go foundations. So you go S plus stone, triangle, adobe, boom. Look how good this is, by the way, guys. And you go from there to vault, transfer. Now, all of the foundations will be in a vault. That's how you find your stuff. I should learn to use this tool better, right? Eh? Perfect, and so at this point, I could focus on trying to, uh, I could focus on trying to uh, lay out a floor in here that exactly fills the room, sort of, sort of what we did upstairs, like that's pretty flawless up there, that goes, you know what, I never did a good look around the outside of the upstairs to see if any of my stuff clips through, but I don't think so, right? Like that floor went in there, B-E-A beautifully. Yeah, nailed it. I really got no Katrix. Um, as for the inside of this, guys, I mean, for now, it would be nice just to get a nice solid foundation in here, make it feel lived in, and figure out how to close up our entrance here. Um, and everything else can kind of can kind of wait until we're really rocking and rolling on that front. Um, and there's a bunch of different ways we could do it. Um, whoa. Oh, yeah.
Okay, you're gonna give me problems. Let's start on this side. Um, because uh, if we're not building off of this, then it's really not that important that it is all part of a single foundation. So... So... It'd be nice if that was higher, really. So, why don't I... Why don't I find a good middle starting point? And this is just tricky, fiddly stuff, guys. It's really not the most important thing in the world, but... So imagine if we did that, right? And then, uh, then... You would have this, and this, and this, and this, and this. How's that for a height? literally unsnappable now. Alright. It's not really seamless though, is it? But maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want to be able to go from with triangles off here. You know what I mean? That's pretty good. No, the whole thing would have to be set back a little bit. Okay, then the other option is that you start with one of the smooth flat walls. Um, none of this is none of this is permanent, guys. We can play around with things. If you find yourself getting foundations in good locations and ways that you think will help us with our design, feel free. That's a triangle. Then you would build, you would go. Ooh, see, the angle's not quite right, right? I don't think it's going to be possible. I don't know how many sided this is. What, what would that be? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, sided. 16? How do you do a 16 sided shape? Pug, you're saying I got the best graphics ever. I'll show you. Epic everything. There's one person you guys can thank for that. If you guys know Zach with an X, uh, Zach upgraded his graphics cards, had some old ones sitting around. So Zach's got better graphics than me, I promise you that. Uh, but he had his old card sitting around and said, hey, if you don't mind paying for shipping, these are just going to sit on a shelf. I will send you my old cards. And he sent me two GTX 1080s. And now I have my old cards just sitting there. I, I, I was going to give them to a rally, but then he made a different plan. And I still have two decent graphics cards sitting around. We should do some kind of giveaway. Or... I don't know if 970s are still something that would be good for people. Would that be an upgrade for a lot of you guys, I'm sure? I don't know. Okay, and I'm a little too heavy to jump here, guys, so... No, 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 that's no good. Yeah, honestly, if it all it doesn't even have to connect with one another. It's like if this is all at a similar height, right? Which it's gonna be close. 
See that? We could have two or three different elevations in here. I really don't care. But if we get a nice smooth... It would be nice if we went right to the edges without clipping through. That would be the primary goal. So even if we have to have four different elevations, I think I would prefer that. Because the elevation changes are going to be minimally different, right? So let's say, like, okay, here we're coming off of the wall. So let's just imagine that instead, now we can go... Uh, okay, well... Now that's going to stick out on the other side. Why am I so heavy? Stop being so heavy. Okay, i got to put something away. Ceilings. Yeah, see that? No good. Yeah, just nice paint, paint right to the edges. Color, color in the edges. What do they say? When you're in kindergarten. Hi, Noah. Hey, finally got my PC and wanted to know if you use mods. Oh, baby girls all over it. Um, and Noah, I'm gonna we're gonna be kicking off a a new series. Um, uh, what building mod is good for creative mode? We're gonna be kicking off a new creative, not new, but we're gonna be returning to my creative building series. Build arc building evolved which sounds like this. That that series, if you remember the old song. Um, uh, and so we're going to be doing that. We're going to be getting that rolling, and that'll be, you know, about a week from now. And But over the course of this week, I'm going to get recording and get like four, five, six episodes started and queued up and returning to my old places, go back to my harbor town, go back to the Viking village and see what needs to be done. Um, we're going to put ships in the harbor of the harbor town. Yeah, I think we're on to something. Certainly getting there. And if we have to start that next elevation, I really don't, don't mind. Because how else are we going to do this, right? I mean, that works, right? And then that works, actually. So maybe, maybe, maybe this founda first foundation is actually going to work? Is that possible? I mean, we got that, right? Like that little, uh, it's so annoying. Uh. But I mean, we can, we can, I can live with that, right? I'm not that picky. So, but if, 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 how would you build off there? That would be, right? And then this could come in and this could go here right and now you got this weird clipping these are at least at the same elevation dang it sweet dang crapper almost though right so I mean yeah we can do this like the way that this is gonna create this space if there's a way to do it this way let's do it and if not let's just get it as close as we can guys I'm really I'm easy I just want a nice floor in here Mm. That's really not bad. I don't know how I nailed... I did pretty good on that, that one there. The problem is that the ground is so unlevel that it's going to be hard to... Hard to get things to the right height, you know what I mean? But if the... If the floor changes elevations... Dang it. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to clip through. And then if I have different elevations in my floor, I don't know how weird that'll be. Will it be weird for you guys? Like if we drop, you know, if we drop down to a different height? I, I, I could live with it. That's pretty close to perfect. Oh, 
that's not perfect. Mm hmm. And then what if. Okay. So then Rogue. This. Or Stewie. Whoops. You also have this. Whoops. Put that away. You also have this option. Right? That's that's pretty close. So this is all just tricking it, you know what I mean? And we'll have we could have like a little this could be a sunken uh, kitchen or something. You could build around it, right? Um if you're not building up with walls, if you're not going to need all these snap points for anything other than a smooth floor, then you can totally make it work. Have we done the whole outside, guys? Okay. Okay. Let's see where our gaps are. So we got little gaps right here. I bet you I could figure out how to fix that though. And a little gap right here. Putting thatch on top. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You could totally do that. <laughs> but the outside. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just hodgepodge it. I started doing this a lot in that series that I'm telling you guys about. I started really just freeballing and trying to figure out ways to make things work. Uh, that. Okay, and then if I came... So, we're really just piling crap on top of each other. But if you went here, and then... Nope. there that's not gonna work but I mean we got these snap points we can find a way to can find a way to fudge it it's just once once you get to this point that you can't it's really hard to find a spot where you're not snapped already right so like I there's is there anywhere in here where you're not gonna snap probably nowhere right so it can't really create that new snap point at this point. But yeah, with the triangles, I mean, you can really get some funky angles and stuff on the go. You can really get, get messing around with it. good from the outside see these are the weird things that go through your head when you start building <laughs> uh will i be playing iso crystal isles map um i think that would be fun it's not in my immediate plans unless it gets going on on the servers the cluster servers um but what's gonna happen monkey uh, furious monkey is for about two months we're gonna rock the center map on the creative building server and i'm gonna go hopefully bang out another 20 so episodes 25 episodes of building evolved um, and assuming I'm in love and loving it the way I always used to. And then after that, we switch that, the map up every time. So, um, uh, right now it's on, um, Anza and I did not play much on there, but Crystal Isles is pretty gorgeous. It's more, um, compared to Ragnarok. Ragnarok's about realism, right? Um, they went and tried to create something that is a verisimilitude is that the word of the real world and they went there's no you know there's no crazy crystals or floating islands they went like they went what's the real best parts of the real world look like and how do we bring that to life in our map and they're doing that with their new map in a big way i can't wait till we can play on that uh, there will be a new exploration series whenever they the ragnarok guys get started again but i mean this map is all about that crystal isles takes you to the other direction the direction of skies of nazca or the center where there's unreal elements that make the world feel crazy impressive um and this version I, has always been the people's preference this is kind of like valhalla if you ever played on valhalla um it feels real so our people have always seemed to lean in that direction. But the center has a, a decent mix. Um, and Valhalla is by the guys, one of the guys who did Ragnarok. And they just, that was, they stopped working on, they each had their own maps, Umasura, Valhalla. And they stopped working on those in order to uh, work on Ragnarok together. And the result was this. So 
pretty amaze. And Umasura was a desert, deserty map. Man, Jay, look at these parrots floating around. Impressive. By the way, your hair goes well with your headphones. Okay, see, Pug, you're being cool now. Uh, wait, Geek says in, uh, I will, uh, uh, yes, okay, so there's, <laughs> I guess there's capital G Geeks, and then there's Geeks. If you're watching, you're a Geek, um, but Noah, that's one of the Patreon servers, so, cap, there's Geeks, you're all Geeks, and then there's capital G Geeks, who are, who are the folks playing on here, I guess, maybe that's the difference, <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you're all my Geeks. Uh, no, it's um, it's a um, Patreon server, Noah. We everybody who's on here is a Patreon supporter of mine or a Rallies, and for me, that's been the main reason I haven't had to. This is the only reason that I have been able to be a full-time YouTuber. Um, so about a year ago, we started the Patreon, um, uh, and uh, folks joined, and and we went from seven people to thirty people to a hundred people to two hundred people. And at some point this summer, it was enough where I didn't have to keep being a waiter. So it's pretty reasonable. You can do three bucks a piece to a rally in me. Or what does that add up to? A month, 20 cents a day, something like that. Either way, it's like, I, it's the only way we can really do it, um, that we can maintain these servers, that we can put as much time into the community as we can. It would be amazing if this was all public and wide open and we I could still be doing this full time. Um, but for us, it's also been a filter. It's kind of like it allows us to kind of the, the folks who make it in tend to be serious, if that makes sense. Um, and don't worry, I use the smiley face too much, too. So what do you guys think of the inside of this? Yeah, do your thing. Slap it all. Go nuts. We're not building it. We're not doing anything with this except you know, make the outside look okay. And yeah, if the sunken area is half the room, that works. If the sunken area is a tiny part of it. And if a tiny corner sticks through, I almost regret removing that bit that we removed. Oh, this is cool. Oh, right. I put this here. <laughs> Idiot. All right. And then once we're on the inside, how do we line up with... Oh, looking majestic as always there, Poseidon. You guys see that horse armor? How good is that? Uh, do you have a favorite biome on the Ragnarok map? Ooh! Scotland. The Highlands. And no, yep, no fighting, no fighting, Biff. Although, I'll take another tour by. Eventually, we will be having the games. The, 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 to tr We'll do a we'll do a melee. We'll do jousting. Right here. This is the this is the jousting grounds. We'll do equus jousting. We'll do uh, what else could you joust on? Rhinos. Um, Carbonemus jousting. I don't know. What do you guys want to see jousted? Future jousting field by Lizzie. There you go. Not future anymore. This thing's looking good. And yeah, here's me on the Iron Throne. <laughs> Let the games begin! So we'll do this some Saturday. Galley jousting, good thinking, baby girl. I like that. Okay, and do you guys know how good I am at using a grappling hook at the same time as a wingsuit without my crosshairs? Never mind, I need my crosshairs. Boom! Nailed it. Uh, wait, the red guys are making a new map. Yes, they are. It's not public yet. It's called Apex. And you know what the cool thing is going to be? Weather. So, so they have a thing where here we have desert biome, we have snow biome, right? They have a thing in the new one where you're going to be standing here, and then as you play through the world seasons are going to roll in and you will watch this terrain change and snow will drift down over it and and it will go from screaming hot desert to to, to frozen wasteland it's going to be amazing and yeah lizzie you just missed it i just zipped over to the games and talked about how fun that's going to be when we get there 
people asking for PvP, so I mentioned there will be an element of PvP. We will have a champion of the geeks. Uh, okay. Hey, that's not bad. That's an interesting little shape. What would you put in here? A little kitchen, maybe? I don't know what. Uh, changing the staircase with the tech elevator. Uh, what about the vanilla spiral staircase? There. This one. How many would you need? And do they just snap together the same way? Was that a no to the vanilla spiral? Lining, oh, issues lining up. Interesting. And you can't really snap down from them, right? So you would have to do... This is the vanilla, by the way, guys. I would have to start, like, there. It's gonna be close though, right? Let's pull, let's just see. That's a crazy cool uh, piece of modern art, though. <laughs> That's like a art deco s sculpture you would find in a city. Uh, it's a trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Agreed. Oh. Did they all break? I got one back. I guess they need foundation support. That was probably wasteful. Yeah, I don't like... We, I could do a ladder, seriously, guys, to get up to the bedroom. Or, or here's the other option, is you go out this, right? The other option is you build a little thing that takes you up here, and then somehow around the outside, we build something that takes you up. I think we're lagging. Yep. So, if you go up here... Whoops. Nice aim, idiot. And then go to one of these entrances over here. Right? No, that's gonna be a pain. These, are, these aren't big enough for real entrances. If only it had a hole in the top like the other one. I could just enter and exit through there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the best way to do it. Certainly, if people have tech elevators, they're just giving away, we could do it, but that's not a cheap item. I don't want people making tech elevators on my behalf. This upstairs is lovely. If we can get the spiral to work, it's really not bad at all. You know, am I... Can't spell at all. Uh, 67? 76. Okay, we gotta update this viewer count. 76 people watching. Um, we crack 100 likes yet? Probably not. In the 90s. 97? Ooh, baby, guys. Get that 100th like. If you're the one to get the 100th like. I give... Uh, <laughs> you two see if you want that to work on it, I can do it for you. Yeah, Major, if you want to come and play with it. 
So I think I think the way to do it would be to build a wall down from the snap point that Stewie used and and get something down here to start it on because the vanilla ones can't snap from below. Um, you can't start them at the bottom of, you know what I mean? They have to start they have to start on a foundation or a ceiling uh, and go up. So yeah. Let's do it. Look at the colorations. You guys are ridiculous. Look at the way these things look. Ah! They should... Remember when RGs were just like brown and black? I mean, the Easter thing surely helped, but good lord. Oh, we're killing it. 105 on the like department. <clears throat> um, okay, I do have one thing I want to go look at, guys. Uh... I do have one thing I want to go look at. How heavy am I? Oh, she can carry me. We're golden. Um, let's go look at this uh, the other ruins and, and what people have built into them and stuff. So up here, I know, I think, was this Major that had been working on this? I think so. But someone was working on a, a plan for this thing, which I love these. I love those archways. So this is another cool thing. This Whoever's here is going to be a neighbor of ours. We've got this little thing in between. I'm just going to do a little fly around job and we'll, we'll check it out. Uh, Jayla and um, uh, Payne, who is gone from the servers, sadly, hopefully back someday. Jayla and Payne, uh, among others, did this place. So this was built into one of these. Nice entrance. Like, I wonder if we should do something like that. It's a very... This one's on an angle. If you look at that, it's very different shape. Whoops. And it has holes on top, hence the, <laughs> hence the spikes. But this is the kibble shop. Right? Sit down to a nice bowl of kibble. And he come through here. Whatever we do, the inside of my place, we need to get rolling on the ice boxes and stuff like that. And yeah, this is insanely well stocked. If you join us here on the servers, Ichthy, uh, Iguanodon, Kairuku, Alphabetized, Capro, Lystro, like, and then she's got this whole little entrance. Like, see what I mean when I say my work is done? People are already building better things than I ever built. Now, obviously, the mods go a long way towards giving you that possibility. If you're stuck with vanilla, it's hard to make anything that looks as good as that, but still great. Um, okay, and then these ruins obviously have been built up pretty well. Noah, thank you, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, Daniel Smotherman, those are awesome things. Yeah, agreed, right? Yes. Yeah, pretty great. Um, and unused areas here. There's room for new shops. Somebody could install a shop there. Somebody could build a shop here. Or a house. I guess you could live in. We could do some apartments. And then this staircase up the side is pretty great. I really like that stone staircase, the way it got painted out. Obviously, this one down here is, is still uh, still work in progress. Progress. It's a weird way to pronounce that. Um, but I wanted to come up and have a look at this one. Uh, this one's pretty huge. So, let's go ahead and do a land job in here. Okay. So, they use Adobe where I use stone. And the upstairs. See, we could just do this to get upstairs, guys. Gosh, there's a lot of room for whoever comes up here. So this is 
dynamic Adobe Pillar. How did these work? Does somebody want to attempt to use these for me? Because that's crazy. I didn't know you could do them horizontal and on the silly angles. I really haven't played much with them. This is funny. Gotta make the most of the holes in the side of your dome. I think. We got we have one one big hole that we have not used for anything, and I have another one at the back that should be an entrance exit. But yeah, look at those dynamic pillars. I did not know that was a thing. Um, I made a couple of them if somebody wants to drip around with it. Lord, how many tech elevators would you need? Uh, two. And then two more if we were to add them to the... Uh, add them to the watchtower thing, but the watchtower doesn't really have a... Doesn't really have a purpose yet. Um, we could we could derp around with the watchtower if you want. Archie. So yeah, Ned, if you wanted to, we could do something with this watchtower. But for the actual base itself, we could only we only would need two. And before you do it, know that Major is coming and wants to work on the, the spiral stairs. See if he can work it out. So, what do we do with this? I think these would come out. Uh, they are... They were part of the other design. You'd need some stone. You'd need... This, this is wrong. You need some stone, some triangles. I don't know. We can work on this if we want. Okay, so let's throw away the foundations for now. Uh, let's transfer some of this stuff in there, and we'll grab some of the stuff we would need to derp around with it. Um, but uh, the one thing this place will need is to figure out some sort of an entrance that is safe. Uh, sh um... Oh, Lord, guys. <sighs> 82 people watching. Is that the peak for today? I think so. Um, I'm hoping 84. Um, I'm hoping, guys, if I can get back into a routine of never missing a Saturday, um, that we can that we can really keep building this thing up. And what's up, 22? Dusty P? What's rocking, brother? How's school? Hmm. It's too hot for me to really pound it, but... Mm. Yeah, baby. I think my view count is messed up. I'm seeing 84. It's got me at 77. Constantly, this thing is stupid. There you go. Close enough. So, the entrance needs to be secured. It doesn't mean that we need an entrance here. It means we could build off of this and add, a, add something to the front of it. You know what I mean? I guess I could work on that, Lord. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to work on. This tower was really insanely tricky um, because of because of these S plus double stone door frame things, um, double layered with the inside out walls, which is what you're looking at there. That's the S plus double door frame. This is the inside out wood wall. Um, it was just a ton of messing around when we did this last time. So I don't know. I don't know whether to mess with this. All right. Well, if we did, we would need these. Would need a few of those, but that would be it. Uh, we would need ceilings. Uh, maybe ten of those. Uh, need those double door frames. Let's see if I got those floating around. Yeah, this, this storage could probably use some work. Uh, no, we don't have the stone. Oh, yes, we do. There they are. So let's take that stack. Um, I would need a window wall. Or 
few. Um, what else would we need? I think that's mostly it. And we'll try it. Let's just try finish f fleshing this thing out a little bit here. So triangles are going to go right there. Walls. Let's go ahead and put those on five. And we'll grab our stone walls. And those are going to go here on six. And we're going to have a couple of different, four different snap points. I want that one. Okay, and look at the look at how messed up that is. Uh, that'll probably help. I know that's weird. Um, this one is supposed to be a window frame, so put that in there. And it's really a question of how much. Do we need these stone double door frames to make this place look good? But yeah, this 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 phase of the game, which I know is kind of it's just part of the game. This go in your inventory, make a thing, craft a thing. I am so much more at home when I'm just unfettered. I just build and build and build. That's usually my go my go to path. So um, so I tend to lean. That's why I'm looking forward to a return to the creative series. It's an interesting look. Something's pretty funky there. Ooh boy. This whole thing's right out of whack, isn't it? This whole section. Okay, let's pop these out. Ooh, man, look at those. Can I bring it down to this level? I should be able to. doesn't want, want to play along. Okay, let's take you out. And let's go here. There, that's gonna be less uh, out of whack. And then I have these reversed on the back. I don't know why. We, we have these facing one way and these facing the other. But maybe, maybe it's a way to avoid having to mess around with more of those stone double door frames. And we'll just put those on three sides of it. And on this side, I won't worry about it too much. Like, we'll go ahead and pop out that, and that, and that, and that. Whoops, and that. And then we'll have that around three sides. Oh, man. Looking good on that dragon. Who's out there? Oh, is that Ned? That is Ned. Thank you. How you're hearing me that fast? I thought there was more of a delay on the stream, Jayla. Uh, baby girl, four tech elevators inside the S plus table. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're in the channel. Oh, good, 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 good. Okay. Well, then, how come ain't nobody talked to me today? Feel free. We are two hours and twenty eight minutes into the live stream, so I'm sure I could use the company. Yeah, baby girl has not been in in game. She's been moderating. Might still be in game, but hasn't been hasn't been chilling with us here. Um, been been a soldier, keeping the keeping the chat un, under control. So that is pretty out of whack. I don't know the best way to fix it. I don't know what what how it would have gotten out of whack. Okay, and here's a thing. Here's a thing. Uh, th this, 
Uh, we're gonna need a ceiling here. One sec. God, guys. Eyes are bugging me today. So, here's the thing. This... Look at, look at how... F hmm. Yeah, I think what needs to happen is this needs to go here and this needs to come out and then this needs to go here instead. I know it looks the same, but now... Oof. Yeah, this whole build is out of whack. I don't know how to save it. <laughs> I think the best bet is probably just like just try and hide the mistakes. Nope. Not finding snap points that I want. See, there you go. That kind of hides your mistakes a little bit, right? I, do, I mean, uh, this thing's got to be mostly decorative. I don't really have a real plan for it. So you would want to go there, snap in like that, maybe? No, that's super out of whack, so that's not right. So then maybe you would go here, and I'm gonna do a little, yeah, there we go. And this. It's a weird looking little tower. I think we're gonna want those double door frames, by the way. As annoying as they will be to install. Oh, okay, almost made it. <laughs> I can do that maneuver, right? Almost. I got a grappling hook, but now I'm just testing myself. Yes! In your face! Awesome. Yeah, we're going to want those, right? I don't know. So here's the issue with them, is that they're going to want to break things, right? See? See, they're such a pain. Okay, so maybe if I do these first. Right? And then let's get that one out of there. We'll go back to our wall goes there and we'll have to make it so that the arrow is facing the other way on this like that that's how you do it and you can really do every other one which we haven't done so there's one here one here there isn't one here oh let's put those on the hot oh they are on the hot bar Right? Oh, leg? No. Okay, so you gotta get that arrow to face the other way. It's a tricky one, but it's such a good technique, right? Like, these stone double door frames, they make amazing little skinny corner pillars. Um... Well, Curtis, that's my thinking. Uh, we could totally do big fat pillars, but these these are like little, these are like adorable little skinny pillars, right? Like, look how cute that looks. Cute. But I mean, look how that looks comparatively, right? Okay, so that would need, I think, that? No. But, you know what? Maybe we take this opportunity to get rid of this stuff and to bring the to, to change the style a little bit. And we'll take these down. Did you get up there too, Sui? You use your grappling hook or did you fly? Because I, I got up there wingsuit style like a boss. <laughs> oh, okay, it's harder than it looks. Not that hard. Skills to pay the bills. Hi, Leo. Oh. Oh, 
that. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> uh, this is gonna need to go. Okay, so the only way to get this to work is to go with a ceiling. Let's put that on number eight. Put a ceiling here, and then the stone, get the arrow to point inward. So you could do that by... The, the snap point rotation not working, so I'm trying to use my, use my, the, where I'm looking to trick it. It was there for a sec, right? Yeah, it won't, this snap point will not rotate on me. Maybe if I stand here, that's... Uh, I can't remember now. What am I trying to do? Snap point to face it. Arrow to face in. Not like that, though. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Just rotate the dang snap point, stupid game. Sometimes it just won't go anywhere. Look, I'm, I'm doing the snap point rotation. Same thing, look. Right? Just nothing there. Oh, that's a possibility. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna put this in. Whoops. I think Stewie's trying to communicate with me and say stand on the inside. Wait, that's not gonna be right. That's where my... Oh, is it done? Well, what's happening now? It's there, right? I don't know what's happening. Oh, I'm tr I switched building materials. I need stone. Okay. So, I got distracted. I need stone and I need it to face... The arrow to face in. This one is not going to help. Like that. See how that arrow just pointed in? That's what we need. That's where I started, Stewie. Ooh, for a second. It was there for a second. Uh, there's a place I, I can stand here. Where it's gonna, it's gonna do it. No, see, this is why I, this is why I didn't want to keep messing with this tower. As I remember, like from a month ago, us derping around when I first started this dump of a build. It's not possible. It needs to snap to this. Um, so we could remove the 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 door frames from above and below if that's the only option. So I could take this out, but then when we come back with the door frames, it's gonna be a total pain. Leg? I hope there's leg. Otherwise, I have no idea what's happening. See? See? Arc building stinks. It's the worst. Ooh, is that fence foundation in there? No, that's a double wall. What have I done? <laughs> I did it, he says.
Oh, removed the thing. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Um... Uh, his Jaboa is in the temple bedroom for now. Oh, that's cute. Oh, my guy, yes. Ooh, is this the... Ha! Huh. What do you think about that? This ceiling is a regular stone ceiling. Does it have to be? Or can it be uh, S+. Plus? One of these is. Ready? See that? Right there. I don't want to break a tech elevator accidentally. I don't think it has to do anything to do with that. Um, put the ceiling inside as well, but I'm trying not to use that snap point, Westane. Very frustrating scenario. Um, uh, guys, I need a. Um, I don't. I don't need to stop streaming. We're at two hours and forty minutes, but I. I really need a bathroom break. If you guys are cool with that, um, I'm going to leave the camera here. Looking at Stewie, and. Uh, let me just alt-tab out of there. And, okay. And I will be back as quick as I can. I am back, and I brought something. <laughs> Somebody was asking about pets earlier. This is Chopper. Hear that? He does not like being moved around. He's very sleepy. Okay, I'll put you down. Okay. Sit. Sit. Whoa. Microphone tangling me up. Stay, 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 stay. And this is Dudley. Dudley hates being picked up. Chopper's pretty cool. Dudley panics. 
Say hi, buddy. Okay, go sit with your brother. Oh, gosh. Sorry, dude. One sec, guys. Oh, okay, guys. How we doing? Okay. Uh, let me catch up. Ba -ba -ba. One outer tower left. Oh, Hunt is working on uh, Atlantis. Uh, Hunt is the guy that you guys saw here on the horse, looking like a Greek god. <laughs> Stewie, it's so not worth the stress, my man. We should just... Let's just... Let's just find a way to make this thing look okay. Why don't we do like the bottom three layers and just pure stone or something? Should we just skip the trouble? Um, and we can't hear Discord in the stream. Are you guys talking? I can't hear you if you're talking to me. So somebody say hi and, and tell me if I can hear you. Maybe I somehow have you muted. Been talking. Let me play around here. I didn't. I thought you guys were just being really, really quiet. I hear you now. Yay! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been talking this whole stream, and you couldn't hear me, so I stopped talking. Oh Lord! I just thought I thought everybody was just listening to me talk. No. 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 We've been talking to you too. Um. I shot your building. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What? That. This tower. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's. I don't know what to do. Like, I didn't want to mess with it because I know how frustrating it is to try and do the inside-out walls with the stone uh, double door frame things. It looks so good. Like, if you if you zip over here to this little uh, beauty. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I like it. I just the looks fantastic, but I don't know whether it's worth the stress. Like, we've got how many sides of it look look good and are mostly <laughs> mostly done? I wonder. Because then we could just leave those sides and tell tell the rest of it to screw off. About half of it. Yeah. There's like three sides done, uh, four sides not. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the stress. Wait. Uh, a minute. And and I'm then as for the interior, I know Jay will get started with some stuff over here. This is the elevator, guys. Boom. How cool are those if you haven't been playing with tech elevators? By the way, this one ceiling is vanilla. Does it have to be? Ah, whoops. See that? See that? Beautiful, cool. I just noticed you, you only notice it from the bottom. Uh, it's my fault. I think I have a few vanilla pieces floating around in these storage containers. I was about to say, it came out of your vault. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, <laughs> there's a few bits here that it's like, there's times and places where it's important to use that stuff to like trick to tr trick building pieces into doing different things. Uh, like there's certain things you can only do with vanilla pieces, right? But um, that's how that got mixed in there. Um, yeah, I just um, I didn't pay no attention. <laughs> 112 likes and counting. Uh, yeah, since I got this new mic, every once in a while, um, my computer will forget, uh, it will forget the, which audio devices to use and things like that. So I, I don't know, that must be how I had you guys uh, quiet this whole time because Dusty's like oh we can't hear you on the stream I'm like well I can't hear anything <laughs> I just assumed uh, nobody was talking he popped in the stream and we told him that you couldn't hear us talking so he fixed it <laughs> well thank you thank you and uh, okay yeah and everybody can hear it in the stream now uh, uh, how would I say this name Loy L O L O Y S and the Y has two little dots on top Poppy No I know how to say the last name um I love all your builds. I am from France, and I love your video. Tell us how to say the first name. Loy? Louis. Maybe it's Louis. That's the name of my... That's what I just named this. <laughs> uh, and another another crazy-looking RG, by the way. Um, who's, who's Lemonhead? What's Lemonhead's name in Discord? Who is this? Lemonhead, but it's got bees in red, so it looks like Bim and Bed, 
Oh, Abid. okay, cool. Well, this is my first time seeing him on the server. Hello. Uh, maybe an Arali patron. I don't know if I know that name from my Patreon. Hello, Lemonhead. Welcome. And if I if you are a patron and I don't know you, then I, I, you must have a totally different name on Patreon too. Um, what do you guys think I should do on the front of this place? Like, I don't know if it's worth just slapping an entrance or if we sh I should kind of, like, think about building a building that comes off the front of it, like, with a little pointed, pointed thing. I don't know. We're coming up to three hours in. I'll probably do four at the most, so it shouldn't, shouldn't take on anything too crazy ambitious. Uh, maybe just focus on getting, getting the useful stuff inside this place, right? Like, Jay was working on. And that tower... Okay, that side, that side there is probably ready for the inside out walls and it should be possible to do those without messing anything up. I'm still tinkering with it. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, if you if you feel if you feel like working it out, uh, I I'm happy to happy to see it come to come to fruition cuz it like like I said, from from a couple angles it's very cool. I always like that that double layering, but I know what a pain in the butt it is. So like that. There. So sometimes it sometimes it just works. Um, most of the time though. <laughs> yeah, it's an odd one, man. It's like they I don't know. I don't know. Because you can double layer walls and it's not too much stress, but Yeah, I just don't understand how it's snapping on two different ceilings, but it's still breaking it. Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if people go back and watch the stream from about a month ago when I first started working over here, I I, I quickly got got sure, I can't even do that. Got frustrated and gave up. So that would have to go uh, there, and then ooh, a little bit of leg, and then that would go there, and that would go there. Right, and then the stone comes all the way up to where I am now. So I would just need the stone to have the arrow facing out and not in, which might mean I need to lock myself on the inside of this. Right, okay. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit tricky. Arrow has to face out, which it should just do, but it won't. If it snaps to this, like sometimes it's like it does. You shouldn't have to remove everything to get it to go where. It, like now it's snapping to that window, uh, which means I guess I gotta back up and take the window out. Hey Connor, thank you for that. That'll pop up in a second here. And, oh, and now now I have a d pop, Poppy No Lou. Different, I assume the same person. So we should be saying Lou. Same per, got a different, different YouTube username, but. Okay, so let's take that out. Let's remove this window. Who needs it? And now that goes there. That goes there. Haven't been to your channel in a while, but I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, there's everything slightly out of whack. A lot of these walls are built at slightly different heights. So with this tower, it's an element of like, just get it done and have it look okay. Uh, right, and then... So, come on. This is so easy to do when the, the thing isn't there. But it's like as soon as the double door frame's there, geez. There we go. Music stopped. Yeah, like this should just snap to this. But it won't. Okay, I have an idea. Uh, 
have a couple ideas. I don't know if any of them are gonna work. Uh, let's get two more of those going. Uh, visual as real. Hey, kind of new. Love the channel. Everything you. Oh, that's very nice of you to say. Not everything I do is great. I tell you. Oh, and <laughs> get close and look down. Yeah, you would think so. You would think that would work. Like all, all you'd have to do is this, and then look at your feet. But it will not snap to this. So what if put that there and that there? And then maybe I can start at the top. Like that. I think the trick might be getting them to be on different, like... I wonder if we have to take advantage of the weird heights, you know what I mean? Because if they're not, if they're, if they're like one wall is a, you know, a half an inch higher than the other, then they're not going to try and occupy the same space and we won't have the issue. Like that's what ha just happened here is I built down from above. So I did the, ooh, okay. So where's the bit, where's the bit right now that's causing trouble? This one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, this is this is why I occasionally have vanilla ceilings in my mix. If I make a vanilla wood ceiling, mm -hmm. um, then, okay. So vanilla wood ceiling is gonna go there. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, like that. Right, and then if you do a wall above, and then <laughs> that. Ooh, I'm not remembering if I'm remembering this technique right. Hmm. And then this is going to end up at a slightly different height. Or is it? Is that the exact same? Are there two different snap points here now for a ceiling? Should be, mister. Okay. Oh, I think we're lagging. Yeah. No, I don't think I did do that right. I'm yeah, only it's, getting one. it's tricky. Yeah, I'm okay. only getting one snap point. So uh, let me remind myself of how that's supposed to work. I'll just come do it over. Oh, I'll mess around with it here for a second. So if you go here, and then you place a ceiling, and then you remove this. Oh, right. You can't do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Th there. And then, okay, so I don't think I need vanilla to make it work. I think if I go here, and then remove that, and then if you go with a wall, and you start up top, and then build down. Now I have now I have two different snap points here. So, so, ooh. so that is how I how I do it. Uh, so the fact that there's two different snap points here, like I have that. And I have now that won't break it. No, it will. Okay, but there's a thing in here that won't. That. Nope. Okay, because that changed on me again at the last minute. But it's like if you place a wall above and build down from, you're getting a, this slightly higher snap point that's gonna. It's like, see how these these two stone walls are at different heights? It's like when that when that happens, it's gonna remove the issue that we're having. Right. 
um, because they're not going to be occupying the same space. I just can't remember how to manipulate it to get it to go the way I want. Um, three hours into a stream, my brain is starting to be fried. Um, imagine spending three days on the build and then you ha the latest graphics card update breaks your resolution and you have to reset your PC to fix it and lose everything. You shouldn't lose a build, right? Furious Monkey, you should be able to back that up, right? Uh, and then Robin, I'm I'm new to this channel. Love your builds that you've done. Loving log cabins and just finished with the third one in Primitive Plus. Um, yeah, the third one is really tricky because it involves that um, Adobe wall thing where you can double layer the Adobe and get the two two sloped walls to crisscross, occupying the same space. That that build's really tricky for people, and I don't even know if it would work properly in uh, in primitive um okay so for the way this build is done now let, let me do the let me nope just use the grappling hook nope that's why i'm stubborn If this breaks something, I would be surprised. There. So this part of it is good now. Now here it's probably going to be tricky. Because there's going to be a bunch of different places it wants to snap. Right. Look at all those different snap points. That's crazy. That's the right one though even though it doesn't line up with that ceiling. Try the windows here. Yeah, there's a lot of snap points going on at this point. But, we're getting there and then this would just have to be the same. Stone wall, and just make sure it snaps up there. God, look at the height difference now on those two stone walls. That's ridiculous. But, but from a distance you won't be able to see. <laughs> and then, so that's an inside out stone wall. Oh, I know what I, one thing I could do. If I remove that, I could do the, the flip. Is that gonna go further in or is it gonna come back towards me? that right and then flip won't break anything right so that like that side there Stewie all the stuff you did it actually paid like that side is completely done now top to bottom pretty much right I'm sorry I wasn't here and I didn't announce it <laughs> um, I hope you had been talking to me oh no no just now just now. Oh, okay. You're good. <laughs> All right. So now that is one right, side. So this is why you fully complete the top. Say, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say this is why you're the uh, the genius when it comes to building. Well, it's uh, and I'll I'll um. <laughs> nope. I don't know work. what you did while I was gone, but it looks good. Yeah. Um. So now this side, the next side to the left, is missing the two double door frames up top. So if I can get up there, I should be able to should be able to do it. And let's go ahead and put a ceiling right there, or it won't mess me up. And then double door frame will be. Okay, now this is the question. I really don't know if this is gonna want to break something feels like it is it doesn't feel like that's gonna go in the right yeah 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 look at those snap points okay let's try this right 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 okay okay so let's just uh okay <laughs> so if i uh let's make more ceilings 
but yeah this is the tricky stuff i'll tell you though like uh, the most i learn about building is is just uh it's when i'm when i'm doing the creative mode stuff and i can just go not not be frustrated when stuff breaks on me like like we get here um so if you could do that then Okay, so that's not going to work then, because that went in the wrong place. So let's remove that. Uh, remove this. And that should be right. Nope, went in the wrong place. So the, the tricky part is that even when you're getting it right, uh, at the last minute, it'll switch snap points on you, right? Like, that's not snapping where it shows it's going to snap. Um, which, it's like, even if you feel like you figured it out, there. Uh, even if you feel like you figured it out, like isn't that weird sometimes with Ark where it's like you have to, you have to make it, you have to choose the snap point that looks wrong for it to, for it to go in the one that's actually right, um, and then from this I should be able to do. Okay, so this is that trick. If if I put a wall up here first, and remove this, then anything I build off that wall is going to have a slightly different snap point than it would have if I started by building downward. Um, okay. uh, and window frame because that's the thing if you just if you really just stick to snap points and don't try and do anything freaky um, S plus is, is perfect it's not going to mess you up very often it's once you start trying to pull pull funky tricks on it okay so you guys can see there if I do that it's replacing the stone door frame but if I do that it's like a half inch higher and it's gonna go there and then this can come out so I think that's the trick for avoiding this I think I've got it down now um, and I, I, I can hop down in a second kind of demonstrate why it's working the way it's working there nothing breaks is that window in the right place yeah okay so I'm gonna remove this okay so let's grab all right okay I'm gonna uh, I, th I think I, I think I've that thing I was trying to show off earlier I think I know how to do now so ceilings windows yeah okay so so there's a foundation, and there's a foundation. Whoops, there's a foundation. All right, so, nope. Snap points messing me up, okay. So we go here, right, and we go here. And then if you go with a ceiling here, you go with the ceiling here, the only, you're gonna have Let's see, two different snap points. So you've got the potential to do this, which is snapping to a ceiling, and it's actually slightly higher. Or you have the potential to do uh, this, which is, ooh, actually, let's go ahead and. Like that, okay. And then if we remove this, so basically, like, if you build a wall, put a ceiling on top, and then put a wall where it's snapping on top of the ceiling, what you actually get is a tiny little gap in there in between those two walls, and now they will be at different snap points. So if you were to go do this trick that we're trying to do here, which is this, and, and come in with the double door frames, so that double door frame it's gonna mess me up, right? But if I do the same thing over here, and what I'm gonna do is actually take out that wall and snap it to the ceiling that's, or the, the window wall that's above it. So now this window wall and that wall are slightly at a different snap point than the ceiling I'm building on. So if I were to come in and do, uh, well, <laughs> I was about to, this is, the, this is the part where I prove the point and it all makes sense. And it's not going to work, is it? Uh. Hmm. God dang it. <laughs> okay. 
I was pretty sure I had it I had it figured out. There, oh yeah. There. It's a possibility. Come on. No, I'm getting the same thing where it's not gonna want to snap to this ceiling. Okay. Really? Wow. These are so annoying sometimes. Yeah. Uh I don't I don't know. I thought I had it figured out. <clears throat> Let me derp around with this a little bit more. Okay. Oh, lag. Oh no, I clicked off my screen. Idiot. Alright, so. Wall. And wall. Versus. Wall. Uh, ceiling. And remove this. And then if you go here. Should be slightly higher. It is really tricky. Alright, so that, if this works, that is at a slightly higher snap point than this. So if we were to try doing the double door frames here. Nope, that one underneath which might make things even harder. Weird that it's snapping downward. Okay. Why? I wonder why it's doing that. Yeah, arc building. It's like the potential to pull these tricks off. But uh, if you don't know what you're doing, man. Okay. Okay, so that... Why? Alright, now let's try with this one. This one, the walls are going to be uh, slightly at a higher elevation. Oop, lagged. Okay. So now, as I'm snapping to this ceiling, it should have no... And I guess, to be safe, what I'm going to do is take out this one behind it. That'll remove one possible snap point. It's because the door frame's a wall, right? It, it, it can just replace another wall. Hold on, it's here. And, and so, because these are at different heights... It shouldn't break anything. So that's kind of the trick to it, I think, is that this these walls that are facing outwards, like the wood walls, are not at the same elevation as the the pillars, the, the double door frame. You can see the wood wall comes higher and the pillars go lower. And that was by tricking it with the ceiling. Now, I don't know what that means for the rest of this build. That side's complete. That side's complete. Uh, like that. Ha. Yeah. It's like as soon as you think you got it making sense, I don't know. I don't know. I think that kind of worked? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, that's underground. So, one, two, this one's incomplete. So, okay, well, I'll, I'll just hop up here. I, I can just keep messing with it and see what happens. Oh, 
Okay. All right. I think I'm on to something at least. Ooh. You guys can still hear me, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, I think uh, I think hopefully hopefully the people watching aren't too bored by this, but this is the I don't know. There's arcs arcs a fun game. There you go. That side's kind of done. It's not quite perfect, but I don't care. I think it has to be not perfect in order to work. Okay, and then this side uh, has a lot of double door frames it needs. So. Hopefully I don't end up having to... Hopefully it goes in smooth. We'll see. This side was built quite a long time ago, so I don't know. Right. Right, right. frame hmm nope I don't know maybe if I start at the top I can do it yeah all of those would be replacing a wall so we need that arrow to be facing outward yeah I don't know it might just be too tricky to be <laughs> Teleporter button? Oh yeah, that's true. No, I uh, I found a way. Okay, well I'm gonna go up to the top and try doing it from the top down, um, and I think that that might do it because I'm gonna maybe I'll end up messing up the snap points and that'll that'll be the key to it. Nope. Okay, I'll be back. Tower looks good from down here, though. Ooh. Take this the wrong direction. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is a good spot to start. How do you be, UTC? Oh, good. Let me adjust some volume. Coming in a little, coming in a little hot. Um, was that was Lemonhead? No, that was Bayman. That's Bayman, dude. Oh, hey. Yep, I got. How's it been, brother? I got you too loud. Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for popping in, man. What have you been working on these days? Ah, uh, you know, just the kind of normal stuff, you know. <laughs> Building on the geek server. Yeah, yeah. What do you got going? Uh, just a uh, place over here. Um. You know where the big cove is? You know where uh, Idaho's base is? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the desert island looking at his base. Oh, yeah. Those islands are great. Um, Just right on the coast there. Yeah. Um, for people that don't know, Bay was one of the, the early early folks on here. We did uh, the, if people remember, the uh, Canyon Hunting Lodge. Uh, that was that was like the first big build of yours that we did uh, a video on, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Who else was in on that one? I was trying to remember who was. Well, all, it was all uh, Dunk Dr. was around, Tao. right? Yeah, Dunk, uh, Doctor Tao, Mayhem, right? Um, Bell Egg, right? Uh, and a few others doing a few other things. Yep. Um, yeah. No, a few of those guys haven't been around in a while, but you and Dunk kind of popped back up a little while ago. It was nice to see you guys coming back. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted community again, so we decided to come say hello for and long what, term, hopefully. And what, what did you guys do in the interim? Were you uh, still playing together, or did you go do your own things? We went. We were still, you know, Dunk was on, 
he was moving so he didn't have internet and all that stuff so oh yeah um i had i started up my own ragnarok server and all of us canyon guys we moved over there for a while and oh, yeah. then uh played some seven days to die which was a lot of fun um yeah man uh if this game building is driving me nuts it's like i feel I should know it by now <laughs> spending hours just derping around with the same thing how did that happen that way? Good lord, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Let's go careening off a cliff. I think that's the trick, by the way, that thing that's up there. Um, yeah, that, you guys got in when the, basically when Ragnarok, we were still, we were playing on this map when it was still developing, obviously, and the, the, can yeah. the canyons were like brand new, right? Those That kind of like red rocks yeah. area, right? Um, but nobody would step foot in them because they were so dangerous. Right. Well, that was uh, uh, Griffins came at the same time, there. right? Didn't they? The Griffins came sometime later. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, I associate that area with the, the Griffins for some reason. Well, you know the valley that's on the green obby there. Yeah. Uh, Hidana. That's pretty area. much. Yeah. Yeah. That's where all the Griffins were spawning back then. Some still do there, but... Well, maybe it was just cruising through those canyons on a griffin that's that's in my memory, because that was amazing when we for could first yeah. do that. So, so like, vertical, that whole area. Yeah, and and, and doing it on Thylas, that, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, 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 they're a game changer. Okay. Uh, it looks pretty good. This snap point does not exist. That might work. Didn't think so. Okay. Good lord. I can't... <laughs> if only the, the stuff you demolished would just stay for a while, you'd have a whole pile of rubble down there at the bottom of the canyon. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> I got Where are you guys at? Um close to the Desert Community Center. Um I could probably pull up some GPS. He's at the barn he built last live stream. They've demolished mostly all of it and redone it. Sort of. Um This song's too loud. Sort of between where uh Webby lives and where the CC is. It's kinda like uh near the near the one end of the bridge that's out, out by that desert CC. Uh sixty nine sixty nine. Those are funny coordinates. Yeah, have some pun involved in that one. Yep. Okay, now the game's freaking out. Come on. Okay. Alright. Didn't I just craft these walls? Sorry, guys. At the end of this, my brain starts going to mush. Um, it's like I forget what I'm doing as I'm doing it, basically. But yeah, it's like I've got I've been breaking enough stuff now that I don't have to pull re pull inventory to craft stuff. It's just junk that's in my inventory. Okay, so uh, I may have to teleport out of here at the end of it, but that will work. And yeah, the funny thing with this design is if I'd been smart, we could have got away with doing three sides, right? And there would be pillars on every corner. Okay, and then I should be able to... Yes, this is going to work, without a doubt now. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, all right, I'm going to teleport out, but I will be back. I think that's the nearest one. Back up if you're near me. Or you get TP'd. I'm coming, too. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> got wings? Uh, I'm good. Okay. I got a grapple. I think fastest way back is... A little glide. Nope, I need my grapple.
God. Okay. I'll walk back. I'm not bad at grappling and gliding. I was about to say, I'm already back. Yep, I ran into some walls. Um, anyone taking on any ideas for this titanosaur? I know that was thro a couple of people had thrown out ideas. He needs something massive on him. Someone suggested making it a starship type thing with paracer platform saddles roaming around as the smaller ones in orbit, like a mothership and small ships. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I mean, with what we got now with like metal tech uh, between those two, you could probably build some pretty space age looking crap. Okay, so this side is going to going to work 100%. Now, once I get up there. I, I am without a doubt. Now, I still have to be careful where I click, but the snap points are going to work. Okay, so let's do this. So maybe that's it. Start one wall, set of walls at the bottom and start the other set of walls at the top, and, you, and, uh, and your snap points will end up different. And... Try not to go flying off the cliff this time. Okay, good. Oh, is that done? Yeah. Okay, okay. This side done. This side's done. This side's done. This side's done. Two left. Okay. That there. I build up like that. And then remove the ceiling. I think I think the trick has been figured out. I think I'm I'm gonna actually manage now. And lower myself down. Still too low. What? Oh, there we go. We're lagging. I tried to place that and land on it. <laughs> All right. Yep. Is suggesting Howell's moving castle for it. Well, I mean, our first version had a bit of that going, right? Uh, it had a, it had the dang uh, uh, wind, wind, wind turbine thing and everything on it, and it was a giant castle. So it had a bit of that going. Um, and I know people had called him originally. People were talking about like we teased the idea of like a gigantic RV type build on the back of him, um, but it would have to be so huge for it to look remotely right. Uh, I played around with an RV design on a raft, and I couldn't even get that to look right. I think the building pieces in Ark are too big, because if you're doing a windshield for a vehicle and it's two, two full greenhouse or glass walls, then the rest of the vehicle is just massive. Um, but it's a neat idea. Okay, and then this can come out. And then, boom. Boom. Almost. Okay, so we will run into trouble down here. That has to be a window frame. And snap there. And then door frame door frame the snap points are a mess but but when it's done it's not going to be pretty it's not going to be obvious so there's one side left to do don't even really have to do it but i think it'll look better if i do so uh and and it'll let me prove that this technique makes sense so if i come up here and i put a uh roof 
Wow, I don't know what snap point that is. Okay, oh, I see. There's still a ceiling up here from before. Okay, so let's take those out. All right, and then if we place a ceiling... God, I'm gonna give somebody an epileptic seizure. Where okay. you guys at? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh... Close to Desert CC. Um, six, I'm at the Desert CC. Six, I'm at the big old. Uh, towards uh, the the one of the oh lord, I don't know how to direct it. Uh, Do you know where the kibble shop is? Where what? Kibble shop. Uh no. Um, okay. basically fa face the river, turn right. Maybe it's the best way to say it. Yeah, I was about to say, just look at the river and come right. We're on the same side as the CC. Oh, okay. Uh, Jayla's standing here? Yep. Yep. Okay, so if this goes on the inside, right, and then I place a wall above it, then I'm raising my snap point ever so slightly. I can remove the ceiling on the inside, and then when I place a... As long as the arrow faces out, I know it's snapping to that, that new wall I placed, and it's not going to interact with these. So that really is the trick, Stewie. It's like when they were on the exact same elevation, the the double right. door frame just wanted to replace the wall more than it wanted to snap to the double door frame close to it. But if you have them on a slightly different elevation, then you maybe can trick it. Yeah. All right. That's good. Put that away. And gonna get tricky here something's gonna go awry but yeah look how look how messed up those snap points are <laughs> I would not yeah. want anyone to have to try and build anything off of this but the tricks that are possible in arc like I know it's probably like it's a flaw in the design that they that they have you know the snap point issues that they have but that it, it kind of gives you it gives you options you would not have if this game was designed perfectly. Like this this double layering of stuff is probably not really supposed to be part of the game, but Uh-huh. Take that out. And tower is very close to being done. Uh It would need just walls. Nope. I think I gotta remove this. Yeah, I was about to say, I bet it was another one faced the right way. <laughs> yep, and then... Man, look at that gap. Those aren't right. Uh, I'm gonna remove these bottom ones and make sure that they're in line with the ones I just brought down. So do that. And then, and then the stone, all I have to do is snap to the stone and flip inside out. Or not. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's good. It's good. I was about to say, UTC, is that stone piece, actually? Yeah, but everything's out of whack. It's, it's, I don't think it's worth trying to... <laughs> yeah, but is it facing in or out? It is facing... Out. So, it's that's that's I kind of miss the vanilla. Um, I miss the texture of the vanilla um, stone walls. Like I kind of like the, the having that backing on them, because then at least you knew which way they were facing. Right. And that's done. Oh, there you go. And I guess this spot should probably have a door frame. I don't know if it. Need Did we want to? I don't know if we're, it's. You can't even fit through here, actually. Or you barely can. Yeah, I guess I can put door frame there. Do you like a double door frame? Well, the only problem with that is it already is a double door frame. 
Well, I'm saying double doors stacked on each other because of right. the Right, right, right. Yeah, that's true. You could kind of just uh, not even bother because we already have the... Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, uh. And just do... Ooh, except the snap points are so messed up. It's going to clip through the stone there. Although, there is a way to do it. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Um, I'm gonna... I know I have some. I'm gonna grab a couple, just so I don't make more than I need. I'm gonna come grab a couple uh, wooden double door frames, and I'll, I'll have those snap where the wooden walls would normally snap if I wasn't doing that. Okay, which container are you in? And then uh, the inside of this house just needs to be... be somewhat secure. Okay, so now we got those. And we could do actually uh, wooden double doors and they will be... Let me come to the inside here. Let's see where that's snapping. Flip that. Yeah, yeah, like this. And you can't even really see them, but... Uh... Popped in the chat. Oh, Mr. Longstaff? Oh, yeah, yeah. I switched over to this. Bye uh, bye. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Uh, I, I mentioned you briefly earlier. Talking about, uh, yeah, I had. I, I, felt, I think I stumbled on Aaron's channel when he was just more or less just getting started. I was looking at it going, man, if this guy doesn't want to talk in his videos, maybe I could get him to just build stuff and I'll just do the voiceover. <laughs> And, uh, and then didn't realize how popular his, his videos would be with, without, uh, the commentary, but it's such a, it's a, it's a good way to do it because, um, you're cutting out all the nonsense. Like a lot of my tutorials have me blabbing about stuff that just doesn't matter if you're only there for the, the build. Um, and then lately, uh, for quite a while now, Aaron's been doing live streams, so the people who got his channel have had the opportunity to get to know him and, and his, his style, which... On his early videos, he wouldn't wouldn't have had, but um, by the time he got to live stream, and it was uh, there, you go. So that sh that should actually look right because it's going to be the inside out. Where did that so, go? So the Canyon Hunting Lodge was whose design? It's on the outside. It was Aaron's design, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the funniest part of that video. I think that's. Uh, I think I sent the thing of Aaron to me of like having my fake fake uh spaz i was like people don't build other people's whatever i was whatever yeah. my joke was right i sent it to him i think he had a laugh but yeah yeah canyon hunting lodge was his breeding pen right yeah that was his breeding pen which i see i see all over the place i get to every once in a while i get to go on friends servers i was on a sw chris server uh, and looking around going like oh that's an Aaron design that's an and like there was a whole little village and there was one of my houses and three of his designs and I was like dang it well I'd feel honored right? oh a hundred percent a hundred percent you know oh yeah no no it's it's great it was a little bit different when he finally publicized himself whenever you could see him instead of all we were used to seeing was his videos. Right, right. But and then you get to meet, it was cool. meet the man. But a uh, smart thing Aaron did was, um, uh, was had, um, had his, like, his little uh, icon there, his little cartoon head. Before you even knew who he was, you had an idea, a vague idea of what he looked like. You're like, okay, well, I know it's yeah. a white guy with dark hair and a bit of stubble and a, maybe his eyes aren't as freaky as in that picture. But... <laughs> But like it kind of yeah. gives you an idea. It's like a cartoon version. So before anyone got to see his face, they kind of had an idea of who he was and what he looked like. Yeah, no idea you know, if he was English. Yeah, or, you knew he wasn't going to be a, you know? a black man or a Chinese lady. Or he had a pretty well. His name's Aaron, so <laughs> should should kind of explain that. But yeah. Um, and which one? Uh, which one is that, Aaron? That you said that's still your favorite video ever? The the hunting lodge? Not the hunting lodge. The the breeding pen. Uh, 
Um, and Aaron, for people who people often ask us who see us playing in this little community, go like, oh, if we play on Xbox or PlayStation, can we come play with you? And we never have had set up those servers, but Aaron has servers for both uh, PlayStation and Xbox for his Patreon people. Um, is that tower done? Is it actually... What I a... think it needs some decoration, but I yes, think it's yes, yeah. Awesome. That that part will be easy, I think, after derping around with this for as long as we did. I didn't want to go back to it and finish it, um, but but pays off doing those double door frames on the inside out wood walls. It's like a just like they're little narrow angled corner pillars. It's such a good looking building piece. I really like it. Um, and then this really doesn't, I don't know what the point of this basement bit is. Ooh, and there's some vanilla stone walls in here. Why would that be? Uh, oh, what a pain it would be to try and replace those. That'll work? No? I think I just broke something. I don't think it matters. I'll leave it like that. Did I just break a... No, I think you just broke It doesn't it. matter. You can't tell on the outside. It doesn't matter. We're good. Le <laughs> leave it like that. Stop messing with it, UTC. Stop messing with it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then the whole th it's, it's like if it's gonna, it's gonna forget that it's S plus, and the whole thing's just gonna come crumbling down in one one giant. <laughs> I just place the wrong hands. <laughs> the entire building collapses. Um. Oh no. The the video where you jokingly said my builds are contraband. Yeah, yeah, that was, I had a lot of fun with, I think we were all laughing. That was also my first introduction to seeing the S plus uh, farmer naked or gardener, whichever one's the, the buff dude. We, I, I had never seen that before. And you guys showed me and I walked up and you just crouch and his clothes come off. <laughs> That's the farmer. Farmer, right, yeah. right, I thought so. Um, so I had a question. Uh, I know I asked it a couple of times, but you know the the big build, uh, the build that's in the gigantic dome over there that has the angled dynamic pillars. How do those work? Yeah. How do you get to set the angles and stuff? It's an option. You have to use a, a ceiling to snap it. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll only snap to a ceiling, as far as I'm aware. Okay, yeah, because I was trying to snap it and it would not, didn't seem to go anywhere. I think we have one floating around right. here. But it, I don't know if it's worth trying to frame out this entrance in something or whether eventually I should put a build on the front of it. Because the way it is now, obviously, mantises are going to get their way in here. Mantises are the one thing I kept uh, having to kill um, when I had the little uh, stable thing built there. But right. it's not that big a worry. I mean, there's not going to be anything in there um, because all the dinos are now in this uh, little pen that we built earlier, if people missed that. Um, Aaron, that's something that... Um, I never was good at doing um, when it came to building tutorials. I always stuck to just doing like cute little houses, and that's a that's a, f a flaw of mine, I would say. Um, and Aaron, when he came on on the scene doing his building tutorials, did all the stuff that's like useful, um, ha you know, buildings for hatching, buildings for breeding, uh, and then uh, pens and things like that. They're just not something I ever took the time to design. Um, and it's obvious. I mean, this design that we did today is pretty basic. There's nothing too fancy to it, but uh, but I mean it looks okay. So it well, if you took that design and you widened it, say 50 times or something like that, I mean you would have a dino storage, mm -hmm. you know, for flyers or just any time, anything. Yeah, you know? this as it stands now, I mean I think I don't want more creatures than I have. I think like if you come in here. There's what one of these bears isn't mine. One of these Yankees isn't mine. But you get your you get a couple of Yankees. You got a thorny. You got a couple of Dodecarus in here somewhere. I thought so. Yeah, yeah, they're here. Uh, a couple of bears, Thyla, um, what you call it? Tickle finger Therizino. Um, I kept one of the uh, I kept one of the Fiomias from that army that was on my island just because he was level two seventy eight and he had an ascendant saddle. Yeah. Do you a, need more? A couple of RGs and a wolf. I don't know. I think I think I want to keep my dino collection from growing too much. It got enormous. People just start bringing gifts as soon as I let them know I'm <laughs> I have a place. And then I come no. back and I go, "There's oh my god, where did all this stuff come from?" No, Fiomi is especially. Do you need any more? No, 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 no. I uh, <laughs> so so this guy that's here, he was the leader of an army of like thirty Fiomias that yesterday ended up yeah. getting turned into meat. So. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, Sergeant Sergeant uh, Spiced Ham and uh, Lieutenant Honey Glazed and whatever all their names were. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole there's a whole platoon. Yeah, I seem to remember the culprit behind uh, your Theomia um, army. Yeah. He um, might he might be over here for possibly well uh i think there there have been a couple of different people that have brought them on me the last time i think this guy had a note on him from sick so i think sick was involved in that last prank but i, I think uh i, I i'm not sh i don't know i think i, I think that was me yeah 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 Aaron says, I really want to do a joint stream with UTC. Yeah, I saw that. I was going to ask. Um, so, uh, Aaron, you're, you're still not on a PC, right? I was going to say pretty soon with the this number of successful videos you've had, Aaron. Unless unless that, you know, I know Aaron's also got a family and a house and a mortgage and all those very important things that would keep him from quitting his job at 25,000 subscribers like I did. Um, but uh, you gotta gotta be working up to that PC pretty soon. We're gonna maybe do a fundraising stream or something, and I'm Aaron will get a PC within a few weeks. Um, um, you can get on his server with with your PC, I thought. Uh, but was, uh... but can he play on it? He'll tell us here in a sec. I don't know. Like I don't know if it would be like us having a PlayStation server that I couldn't be on. Let's see. Um, uh, people talking about Aaron's wolf pen design, um, but yeah, man, I would love to collaborate, um, 100. percent Even if even if it's not, um, well, like we could even do something where where Aaron's streaming and doing a build, and I can just be in voice chat with him watching his stream, or or uh, or something like that, and and talking to him. We could definitely get something like that going, um, even if so we're not in the same world. To my understanding, the way the uh cross arc would work is you would have to have the uh arc or version of arc from the windows store oh yeah interesting need to be windows 10 i have windows 10 but i just have to get interesting yeah steam and windows have two separate versions that's so weird um yeah, yeah but on the cross faction of it all i mean to be able to do that together yeah I mean, that would be worth downloading. A hundred percent. I I would like I when I oh this Turboa? is this the... wait okay yeah, I think Leo I think Leo left that for you yeah yeah look at the color scheme on that one pretty great it actually matches the RG pretty well all right let me go put uh, let me go put this guy let me go put the uh, bulb dog up here and you know what. Let's try, let's just borrow this for now, because I really like how the Jerboa's looking, that silly little hat coming down. Okay. And we'll put a little hat on this guy over here. He said Windows 10 version of Arc, my servers are crossplay. <laughs> That's sick, sick. Do we? Come here. What? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Hold on a sec here. <laughs> Okay. The worst lie. I don't do. Didn't do anything. Look at that. That is a r crazy cool looking Jerboa, though, eh? <laughs> oh, is there gonna be all out, yeah, all is, out combat here? And it matches. Like, like, look at, look at these two together. Pretty good match for that. I mean, that's obviously Olive and not Tan or whatever he is, but they look pretty good together. I don't think uh, they both have Cyan. It looks mm -hmm. good. Yeah, this is a good combo. <laughs> I'll have to give it. I'll have to figure out a good name for this thing. Um, man, the number of RG colors that are floating around here. You guys are amazing. Uh, it's Jayla. She wanted to show off her new colors, I bet you, but that is a beautiful bird as far as the okay. rainbow bright. The, is it this this one with the blue and kind of <laughs> orange? Yeah. No. no, look at the rainbow colored one here. Okay. Oh, I think I said... Not rainbow, but... I, I, def I definitely saw a parrot yesterday. I was over at Jayla's and we were slaughtering baby gigas. Getting me to level 99.5. Almost there. I am 
Yeah, 90,000 XP away or something like that from from level 100, which I've never gotten to before. So, um, what are you what are you actually doing tonight? I think there's a giga party. Another giga party. Oh, I, I can join. I'm sure. Um, Nick um, guys, you know what I think I'm gonna do? We finished this tower. We finished the pen. This house is like livable. I think um, I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream. We're at like coming up to four hours, and the uh, come and get your love just started playing. So um, I will say thank you to all of you guys for keeping me company. I know I was not listening or talking to you for most of it, but um, thank you guys for hanging out. Um, yeah, fun stream. I think. And then I mentioned to tease people that next week we're going to get rolling on base tours and stuff like that. My plan is to maybe do three or four base tours in a Saturday live stream, um, show them off, and then on the Sunday I'll split it up into um, individual chunks so that people can have a little video that's about their base. Um, and, and on Sunday you'll get kind of like three or four videos released that are replays of the stream. Um, and, then, uh, and then I'm going to get going. I mentioned... Um, tomorrow i have a live stream planned that's going to be a surprise i would love if people tuned in same time uh, 11 a.m and uh, i'm going to get patrons to help me you guys don't need to know anything about it but you're going to be my my kind of my partners in crime for the stream still not going to mention the game and then um uh, starting monday i have a new series starting on the channel of a story driven game there's going to be five videos monday through friday and then so there'll be a little arc vacation and then next weekend, we'll get rolling on base tours. In the beginning of next week, I'm going to bring back the creative building series. So we got lots um, of good stuff ahead. And whenever I bring back that series, guys, it'll be the main thing on the channel for a while. We're also going to do some building tips videos where I get these guys on the server to show me tips. And you know what? Let's bring that song back because I'm not done outroing. <laughs> um, we'll get people to do that. And then someone like Jinji, who has that crazy cool technique of making a vanilla circle that's 32 sided. We'll get someone like Jinji to jump in and show us some stuff. And then as soon as we can make it happen, maybe I'll track down that Windows 10 version of, uh, of Arc and um, finally get a collaboration going with uh, the best builder in Arc, which is Aaron, I think. Um, yeah, I think that does it, guys. So here, here are my uh, thank yous. Link in the description for G Portal servers if you ever... Oh. This song just keeps ending on me. If you if you ever need a server, click the link in the description. You get a discount, and they know we sent you. And they're the ones that make our whole network of geek servers possible. Um, love those guys. I didn't see Brad in the stream today, but if you guys ever see Brad or Wolf popping in the stream, give him some love because he works overtime for us. Um, we got the Pixar server going. We got this whole thing. We'll have the creative server going. We have a super modded Ragnarok server. And this cluster has the island, Scorched Earth, Ragnarok, whatever. So if you want to be a patron, I think they just shared how to do it. And um, and yeah, thank you to you, you guys, all of you. If you're here today or if you're just a patron who supports me and never asks for anything in return, you make it possible for me to spend my days building and, and sharing my love of gaming with you guys. So I think that's everything. Um, awesome stream, and, and I'll be hanging out with these guys tonight. We'll do Giga Party, and we'll get me to level 100. Um, but yeah, that does it for today's stream, and I will see you guys tomorrow morning for a surprise stream, 11 a.m.